who's ready to sim. Wait, let me get my game open. Oh, Moobot, that's what I was gonna do. God, hang on, now I'm already live. <laughs> well, today we're gonna play the Pots family and also uh, mess around with the new update. Messing around with the new neighborhood stories update. I don't know, put Simsy Panic, that's a good one. Okay, anyway, hi everybody. Wait, let me get my Sims open. Wait. Let me get my sims open. Also, little Zika, hi, thank you for the fits. It is update time. Don't read my chat. Okay, Chella, I'll try not to. <laughs> I won't anymore. Never again. I posted a TikTok today, everybody. Big moment. Um, it's, a, it's a TikTok that I already posted as a short on YouTube. <laughs> but um, I posted it. It's a fun experiment. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'll be a TikToker. Maybe I'll join Sims Talk. I don't know. Forget Bryce Hall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking over. Anyway, we're going to play The Sims today um, because I want to play with the Pods family. And I also want to play with the new update because the update came out today that added the like first installment of this neighborhood story stuff. Um, and I don't know, it's too early to tell if we like it, because, like, I played it for 40 minutes and then posted a video on it. So, like, it's really hard to say, like, obviously, with this kind of thing, you need to play with it over, like, the course of multiple generations, I feel like, to get, like, the good vibes that you need. Um, that's, to get a, a real understanding of it, it's, it's gonna take a while of playing with it. So, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> is starting to play with it so we can get a good understanding of it. You know what I mean? Um, but it'll be fun to mess around with, I think. So. <laughs> um, Zara, Mega, Allison, uh, Neem and Lily, and Lauren, and, and, and Nee, and Daisy, and Elise, and Hearts, and Ferret, and Rebecca, and Stony. thank you all for the subs, everybody. It's good to see you. Um, Oh yeah, you have to delete your mods. I know, it's terrible. The other interesting thing, so you might not have this, um, both my sims are sad, so I can't show you the change, but, um, you might not have- oh, let me just get rid of that. Oh, I don't have UI cheats! Ugh! Anyway, sorry. Um, other interesting thing is they added support for this, um, UI cheats work, so I can put it back, I can reinstall my mods then. Um, they added support for, um... I have to restart the game. This Logitech thing that works with, if you have like the, the system on your keyboard or your mouse or maybe your PC, um, it will change the color of the, your lights based on your sim's moods. So my sim is sad, my mouse is blue. This sim is fine, it doesn't change. I can't show you, I only have sad sims. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a Razer mouse, uh, but it's a Logitech system. That's, anyway, my PC is changing colors too. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, it's kind of, I've noticed that it's kind of like, it's hard to show you right now because my sims are both sad, but I've no, I'm gonna restart my game as well so that we can get the um, mods back. But um, I've noticed that it's kind of harsh, like, because it goes like straight from blue to red. I, 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 I don't know. Um, and when it loads, it like spins. I don't know if I like it. I'm unsure. I'm undecided. But we'll see. Um, <laughs> Sadie, uh, Lucky Duck, Kitten, Nahal, Shark, Lo, Betty, Francisca, Pan, Felony Moose, Small Raptor, Chris, Gimme, Carrie, Lady with Plants, Joy, Walker, Oh No, Skipling, Stan, uh, Alien, Cookie, Maggie with the 51 months, uh, Darlin, Stir, and Danielle, and Ella, and Delaney, and Karen, and Ari, and Ezra, and 80s, and Sarah, and everybody, thank you for the subs, I'm sorry if I miss anything, Sunrise, and, and Thad, and Lady Potato with the gifted subs, um, you had it on your Razer keyboard and stable setting. Yeah, um, you look, it's like, because I'm loading my game right now. In my opinion, this is a little bit much. And it's doing this on my keyboard and my PC lights as well. It's all doing it right now. Like, um, I find it a little bit much, <laughs> but I don't know. You, you can turn it off. Yeah, you can turn it off. I just, it only came out today, so I'm still using it because I'm curious about it. Um, 
It's not like it's gonna be like that permanently. <laughs> you can turn it off if you don't like it. You don't have to use it. Um, and obviously it only works if your keyboard and mouse and stuff work with it, but... Um, anyway, it's not like it's not like a bad thing. It's, it's optional. And also a lot of yours might not even work with it. <laughs> um, but it, the uh, new option came out today. So I was just looking at it. Um, Kayan, Lacey, you feel the heat, Chloe, Flower, uh, Poppy and Alexa and Ham and Kalani and Holly and Mary and Flood and, and Celeste, uh, and Tamalees and, and Husna and Kimmy and oh my god, did I miss anybody else? I'm sorry, Rafi, August, Dandy, Sea Witch, all she says, thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, it'll be fun. <laughs> Glitter, Jade, Brandy, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay, so... The, so with the mod UI cheats extension, you can click the emotions away. Here's, this is a better way to show you. So you see how he's uncomfortable and now it's orange. And then if I click on her, now it's blue because she's sad. Anyway, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, but U UI cheats apparently is not broken. I was just told, so my mod's back on. Anyway, um, as far as other update things go, there's a few bug fixes. We did get a new window. They finally finished the, um, the window. <laughs> this is the window that, okay, so I'll give you a quick backstory before we start playing with the family, but um, this is the window that uh, they falsely advertised the Sims 4 Industrial Loft Kit with. I don't think they did it on purpose, but they, they posted, somehow, someone made a mistake. They posted, like, the first teaser had this window in it, and then the real kit had a different window in it. Well, they were like, oopsies, sorry, we'll make the window again. So I guess the teaser probably had, like, some, it was, like, fake. They made a fake window just for the teaser, and it wasn't actually made. It probably didn't even exist. They probably had to make it, and now the update has finally come out with it. So this window's in the base game now, so you all have it. Um, it came out today, so... It's a nice window. Um, but we have this window in the base game. The other window is still in the kit. The one that we actually got in the kit is still in the kit. Um, but that one is, we now have the base game one also. This one is new. Um, so that's kind of a win. Everybody gets a window. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then also, obviously, the story progression update is out now, um, which is quite cool. So we're going to mess with that a little bit today. Um, I'm thinking, let me look at my family tree. Who can, oh god! <laughs> oh god! I forgot she was gonna be an elder today! Oh no! Oh god, okay, well... This is bad. Maybe I'll go try and convince Eugene to, like, get a new job. I don't know. And I'll just hope that I'm not gonna age up. <laughs> I'll cross my fingies. Local honey, Andy, Erin, T, and Hakuna Matata, and Haley, and May, and Allie, and Charlie, and Matt the Hat, and Boundary, and Sabrina, and Doctor, and Green Vanilla Tea, and Nopalita, and Ava, and Jade, and Glitter. Thank you all for the subs. Thank you all so much. Turtle Boy as well. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'm gonna bring my brother to the park with me. No, not Patrick. That's my dead husband. Eugene. You played for a few hours, but didn't get any story progression pumps. That's interesting. They said that they wanted to, like... They didn't want it to be too much, but if you played for a few hours and had no story progression prompts, obviously you can like initiate it yourself by interacting with people. Um, like I could come here and I can say, Eugene, you want to pursue your dream job? Interesting idea, Holly 4.1. I've been pondering what would give me the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide soon. And I don't know what happens after that. I haven't seen it. So I guess we just have to wait. I might also see, um, I might see, cause there's, there's another option. There's so many things in this game. We could have him dump his wife. That's not, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't really want to make him dump his wife. Um, oh wait, look. Why, I said discuss expanding the family. Holly is not in the mood to ask this type of question. Oh. 
That's interesting. So she's too sad? She can't ask him to... Huh. I mean, it makes sense, but... I, I noticed that when I was playing earlier a little bit too, that um, they'd be like, I'm not in the mood to talk about this. So it's possible that like, he's also sad, so he'd probably say no anyway. Um, your Sims boyfriend called her tw for advice on whether he should marry her or not. That's kind of fun though. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> and uh, Everly, Rainy, Brandy, Kate, Jess, uh, Ginger, and Kodak, and Tiny Cowplant, and Snowball, and Lego, and River. Thank you all, Everly, to um, everybody with the subs. Thank you all so much. But yeah, I, I have not successfully had a Sim agree to expand their family. And that's the thing. I, I don't think that that is a glitch. I think that's probably by design. Um, and it makes sense <laughs> that they might be like, you know, I'm not in the mood to discuss this with you. And also, you know, I don't really want another kid right now. So like, I get it. I get it. It's a difficult decision. However, I have successfully, every time I've tried, convinced someone to dump their spouse. Um, which you would think is also, I don't want to say equally, but it, it's up there with being a tough decision. Um, <laughs> you know, divorce is, is not something to be taken lightly. So, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm kind of thinking, my sim is evil, right? My sim's gonna be an evil hacker. I feel like it would be fun if we switched her aspiration to the new um, villainous Valentine one. But the thing is, if we did that, she's got this boyfriend that I actually quite like. Well, they aren't actually dating yet. But like, we could cheat on him. You know? He doesn't need to know. We can have the other ones catch us cheating. And we can just stay with him the whole time. Or I could just dump him. Maybe we could have kids with him and then dump him. I don't know. Maybe they could get back together at the end. We'll see. I mean, it'll be great. <laughs> Mads, thank you for the gifted subs. Lava, Chopskis, Grand, Crystal, Jay, and Alexis, and Cyber, and Anna. Thank you all for the subs. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> oh, Andy has the jealous trait. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna switch to the new aspiration. But look, for it, it's only- it's not more than one, um, level. It's just the one level. But for it, you have to get caught cheating ten times, have five exes, and then break up ten other couples. Yes, get caught cheating ten times! That's a lot. That is a lot. Anyway, Harvey's gonna be mad. <laughs> Katie, Nick, Taz, uh, Photox, Khan, Llama, um, Rwanda, uh, OMG, E1, Katie, thank you all for the subs too, everybody. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um, you got your first prompt? Oh, what was it, Amanda? What did they ask? Anyway, while well, I talked to Eugene about getting a different job, I think for now, Maybe, oh, maybe we can convince Crystal to have a baby. Crystal is Eugene's wife. <laughs> Let's go see if we can convince her. Who did the cow plant eat? Oh, the sim that I'm playing with, she's in the gardening career, and for one of her career tasks, she was working from home one day, and I kid you not, the career put as her daily task you know when you work from home and it's like daily task and you have to do it to get your money? The task for the day was to get eaten by a cow plant. That's a bit hazardous. Anyway, so I did it. Um, but she's not dead, it was only once. You have to get eaten more than once. My sim is still sad. Oh, she's not sad because of the cow plant. She's sad because her sibling died of old age. This is something that you'll come to realize very quickly in this series. Everyone is dead. This is my front yard. 
You'll get used to it. They're sad a lot. Just ignore it. <laughs> Abigail, Lottie, Capricorn, <laughs> Torkosaurus, Curious, Momo, Glitch, uh, Samara, and Dr. D, and One, and Ginger, and everybody. Aziza, thank you all for the subs. Thank you all so much. Um, okay. Anyway, this is my, my brother's wife. I'm gonna see, um, oh god, I forgot. She has the single and loving it lifestyle because, so she's with her, her fiance. Basically, this is Patrick. Um, they were engaged and then he died. Um, and when you, when that happens, their relationship status resets. So they're, they're still like in love. They still have a romance bar, but I kind of forgot that they were no longer officially engaged. So, like, he died, and then I put him back in my household as a ghost, and they've been living together for, like, 20 years. Like, their, their twins are young adults. She's gonna be an elder today. Right? But they, they're not officially together. <laughs> so she got the single and loving it lifestyle, because she's been single for so long. Except, I didn't do that on purpose. Um... I just didn't realize that she was no longer with her dead husband. <sighs> anyway, so somehow she's single but also engaged. According to the game. Ah! Jeez! Oh my god! I kind of- I- <laughs> That scared me! <laughs> okay! Um, this is fine. <laughs> Glam, uh, Quirk, and PC, and, and Therese, and Melon, and Courtney, and KMZ, and Talisha, thank you all for the subs. Oh, jeez. Who is she married to? The ghost in my household. But he's dead. So. Anyway, I'm gonna try and convince her to have another kid. I was gonna see if I could, um... Wait. Oh, I'm still not in the mood to discuss it. Forget it. I'll get it away. I'm... This is all worth the experiment. I don't need to- I don't need to not cheat. It's, I, I went past it. I was going to try and discuss expanding the family. I'm glad you brought this up, Holly 4.1. I've been thinking the same. Let me chat with blank and I'll get back to you? With who? Chat with who? Do you mean my brother? She said redacted. You, I'm sorry. I think you might mean Eugene, my brother, who's your husband. Who's blank? <laughs> who? Sorry. Who are you going to be discussing this with? <laughs> Lisa, Amy, um... S and, and Minx, thank you for the subs. Andre as well. Needles with the five gifted subs. Chen and Alex with the subs too. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much. She's having a baby with not Eugene. Imagine she's cheating. God, could you imagine if she's actually cheating and the game makes her have a baby with the wrong person? <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that would be really funny though. I would actually really enjoy that. I'm not kidding. That would be really fun for me. <laughs> Amanda, Brittany, Elizabeth, Queenie, thank you all for the subs. Okay, um, I'm gonna have her come make some dinner while we're here. Because I need some more snacks. Oops. When are they gonna fix the cooking skill lag? You know what I mean? Like, they fixed a bunch of things today, but they didn't fix that. Anyway... <laughs> Kat, Lacey, Curry, Melissa, Amalia, Livy, thank you all for the subs and bits, too. Um, you got Raymond in your campsite? Oh my goodness. And Georgia, thank you for seven months. Alright. Alright, what's wrong with it? It's laggy. Super, super laggy. What are you wearing? Is that your work clothes? Okay, well, this is my secret hacker room, so maybe I'll make some plugins. I don't know. She probably needs to start having babies soon. I'm getting a little bit worried because I don't want her to, like, die when her kids are still young. So when you play on short lifespan, you got to worry about these things. Oh, and you know what else? I want Holly to live to see her grandkids. Oh, God. We should probably get pregnant today. Right? 
We probably should. Today, tomorrow. We'll get pregnant tomorrow in game. We can have a little oops baby with her almost boyfriend. <laughs> I think that'll be good. Yeah, that'll work really well. All right, just keep just keep doing it. You? Oh, do you want to hang off the dog? I earned 12 smoleons from my plugin. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Really pleased with that. Um. Well. <laughs> so, Amalia, that girl possessed Amanda, Candace, Smile, Wissa, Cinderella, Amanda, Zauber, Emask, Georgie. Thank you, Kara, as well. All of the subs. Thanks, everybody. Um. Okay. I have not done a programming about switches. No, I have an indigo. Should I? Archer, if the chat is censoring LMAO, that's yours. <laughs> that is that is your settings. Um, in your Twitch chat settings, you can you can turn that off. Um, it's a chat filter that you have on. Um, so I don't know why they do that. Twitch chats, the the Twitch settings can be kind of strict, but that's a that's a you choice, not a me choice. So you can um, in your chat filter settings, you can turn that off if you if you don't like it. And then it won't do it anymore. Um, Amanda, Rebecca, Haley, thank you all for the subs and bits too. Alright, I want you to get your skill up, like, really badly. Okay, that's not your room. You guys have to live in... Wait, you're in the wrong room too. This might be my first night in the new house. I think, since we've changed it. Oh god, yeah, see, fill the pet bowl. This is our first night, like, actually playing in here, I'm pretty sure. So that's kind of fun. Oh wait, I didn't have her age up yet. Oh, I even made her a cake. It's right there on the counter. See? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh man, I really did. I tried. Well, can you not fill that? What? Is it out of the way? Or, oh, it's just your daughter getting to it, and that's why. Oh, there you go. Anyway, because I know about 50 people are going to ask, this light <laughs> is the single most talked about item in The Sims 4. You would be so surprised to see. Literally every time I go next to it, there's like six people being like, what is that? Um, this is a light from the digital deluxe version of The Sims 4. I also did not know it existed until Santa gave it to me for Christmas. Um, and now I have it in my house. Um, I know. It's- it's wacky. It does all sorts of fun things, though. And now I have it in my house because of Santa. Um, it's called the Let There Be Light something or other. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to keep talking about this. Let There Be Light laser show. It looks like that. It's a weird ball. It costs 375 simoleons. Every- li literally every time <laughs> it gets shown, everybody is like, what is that? It's kind of funny, though. Um, but yeah, it came with a deluxe version of the game. So, I also did not know that it was there. Because I never used to mess with it, so. Um, it took Santa giving it to me to see it. <laughs> Penguin, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, Dark Knights, Pink, and Post, uh, and Fenia, and Jenny, and Froggy, and Katie, and Berkeley, thank you all for the subs, everybody, too. Um, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I could start making up lies about what it is. I could be like, that's my, my Sims grandma's ghost. Because how would they know? Like, if I was actually lying about it, how would they know? That's all I'm gonna say. It's an interesting concept. <laughs> um, lots of penguin. Thank you for the subs. Um, is the fourth gen first kid born? Fourth gen? The fourth gen kid's dead. Um. <laughs> the the fourth gen kid kids are real dead. Um. Currently, currently we're on gen eight. And, and her kid will be Gen 9. I wanted to do that back again, but I wanted to stop it. I wanted to 
You think Dan's, Dan's okay in his game right now? Anyway, the fourth gen kids are long dead. Um, super dead for them. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't think Dan's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, we're, we're gonna have probably the Gen 9 baby today, though. I was thinking, so my sim has to work at 10 a.m., um, which is a bit annoying, but, uh, I might go see if my boyfriend wants to hang out with me this morning. Well, they're not actually dating, but we, we need to have an oops baby and we need to have one fast, because otherwise she's gonna die before, um, she gets a chance to, she being her, her mom is gonna die before she gets a chance to meet her grandkids, and I want her to meet the grandkids, so I think we might have to get pregnant today. Dan is quite stressed, he just yelled again. I think he may have died in, in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can bring um, Harvey out somewhere. So, let me move to the, maybe the gym! We'll go to the gym this morning! You're getting married in Orlando in January? Oh, Amanda, that is so exciting. Congratulations. Um, and Ashley and Shelv and Tara and Sazzle and Acro and Eve, thank you all for the subs. No, 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 no. She's not Holly 4.1 for hahas. She's Holly 4.1 because she's the fourth Holly in the family. Some of them weren't really related. I had like one of my Sims wives' moms was called Holly and I had a stepsister called Holly, you know, and then we now have a fourth Holly, um, who is this one. Uh, she's Holly 4.1 because she almost died. And w what I really should say is she did die, <laughs> but I played it for her and the Grim Reaper brought her back to life. She died of embarrassment when she aged up from a teen into a young adult. Um, because she had like the super embarrassed mortified moodlet from like a teenage mood swing. Um, and then when she aged up, she died of embarrassment, like, immediately, and then I had her mom plead for her life, and the Grimmie was like, oh, okay, and then she came back to life. Um, but anyway, it, it was a close call. So now she's 4.1, <laughs> because she almost died, so. Um, <laughs> it was actually quite dramatic, I must say. <laughs> Geo, Ash, Corinne, Isabella, thank you all for the subs. Um, okay, this is my almost boyfriend, though. Oh, I'm too sad. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Give relationship advice. Maybe I'll attempt to seduce him. I don't know. I don't know. Kiss hands. I need to get him close enough to me to woohoo so I can try for a baby. Offer a rose. Asked to be boyfriend? Maybe not yet. That might be a bit fast for my liking. Baby, though. Baby I can do. <laughs> Dating? Too much too soon. Baby? That's fine. Well, can you not try for baby with Harvey? Come on. Come on. What, you can't? Ah. He has too much commitment to, you know, date someone, but babies are fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a, um, a woohoo bush. And I'm gonna put it right in the front of the building. I don't think they're gender locked, are they? No, they're not. Um. Okay, well, they'll be able to do it in this, so it's fine. I got rid of the sad movelet with a mod called UI Cheats Extension Eloise. You can right click on things to cheat them. Like you could click on your needs and you can right click on movelets to delete them and things like that. Um, uh, Eva, you're the four months kings with the 12 months. Thanks everybody. Oh, I'm gonna take a pregnancy test right now. I want the kid to be born fast. While her mother is still, oh God. <laughs> Um, we're pregnant. Yeah, UI cheats didn't break. Um, I didn't even download an update. It still works, though. Which is good. Well, hey! That went well. Unfortunately, I have to go to work, though, Harvey, so I'll catch you later. <laughs> Jazz Maple! Uh, Kissy, thank you all for the subs. Oh, it's terrible. No, so... 
taking a pregnancy doesn't speed up, taking a pregnancy test doesn't speed up the pregnancy, but the, the timer on your Sims pregnancy doesn't start until they find out they're pregnant. So if you like just wait until the game tells them, it'll take longer to start the pregnancy process, right? Um, and I don't want it to take like four days because my Sims mom is gonna die. So, <laughs> I'm, you know, gonna move on. You see? Uh, Miles, Anna, Jazz, Maple, thank you for the subs again. Okay, everyone's at work. This is actually nice. I may even have Holly... What's wrong with you? Oh, high maintenance trait. Okay, that's fine. I may have Holly uh, retire. I think that might be nice. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it. Maybe I'll have her and her almost husband actually start dating again as well. Hey, Snap, what's up? Come here. Come here. Jump up. My cat's in here. Come here. Okay, we have a cat, everyone. <laughs> oh, my mouse is red because she's so angry. Anyway, this is my cat. Hey, Snappy. Do you want to play The Sims? Do you know how? I think you might have a hard time because you don't have any fingers. But that's okay. You know, you can probably use your your whole paw. <laughs> anyway, this is my cat. So, she's come to say hi. Snappy, did you know you're famous? I think that like you better than me, actually. Anyway, this is my cat, everyone. Sorry if you just see a tail from time to time. Um, <laughs> I won't force her to like stand up, but if she wants to lay on my lap, I'll let her obviously. Um, hey, Snappy, thank you. You're so nice. I love attention. Okay, take an angry poop, let's go. The other thing, we need to get Rose, why are you in the secret basement? We need to get Rose and Alexia started dating. So if you missed the last stream, um, oh god, it was a disaster. I realized that I accidentally placed this sim in the save twice. There are two sims called Alexia in this save. They are the same sim that I placed twice. I may I didn't, like, make her make her. I just, um, like, made her randomly to, to build a house with and just, like, have a sim on the lot. Um, and then I somehow placed her twice in this save. So I'm thinking the storyline goes as follows. Um... They're clones of each other. And I might date them both. But, like, one of the clones is evil. And and the problem is that Rose doesn't know that the evil clone is secretly trying to make her date her, too. And so it's, it's like an accident, you know? Like, the evil clone is trying to trick us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Snap. Can you see her? Or is she- she's too small. Sit up! You wanna see everybody? You look really cute, Snap. It's kind of fun. Wait, let me pause the game. <laughs> she's so cute! I love it when she does this on stream. It's so cute! <laughs> oh, she just loves chin scratches so much, don't you, yeah? Anyway, this is my cat. So, you look a bit funny, Snap, but that's okay. Anyway, Jazz, uh, Bad, Olivia, Ella, Love, and Miles, and Anna, thank you all for the subs. What if we just didn't play The Sims and we just sat here and looked at the cat the whole time? Because I would do that. I'm not opposed to that. Isn't that right, Snappy? <laughs> You're my best friend. I feel like I can't stop petting her. I feel like I have to wait until she wants to be, like, until she wants to stop. You know what I mean? Because you can't just like... When she's doing this, I can't just like stop. 
Because she likes it so much. But then, like... Also, she does behave very well with the Christmas tree. She hasn't messed with this one a single time. It's been up for, like, two days. She hasn't touched this one at all. Oh, did you wake up? She hasn't touched it at all in here. The one downstairs, she's she's tried to mess with the ornaments a couple times. Like, three times. And I've had it up for, like, three weeks. Um, oh, good morning. I'm sorry, I was talking about you. I was. It's like she realized what she was doing. She was like, oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Anyway, now she's mad that I'm talking about her. Anyway, she doesn't care about the trees that much. She's 13. She's had loads of Christmases, and she's never cared about the trees that much. She's a couple times messed with the ornaments on the tree while I'm streaming, but I, I think that genuinely comes from a place of, like, she's mad that she's not getting enough attention because I'm streaming and not, like, hanging out with her. Um, and so she goes back there and hits it for attention while I'm streaming. But she hasn't done it yet. So we'll see. She's quite the attention seeker, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, she's still on my lap, but she's laying down now. Uh, Kate, Care Bear, Amy, still just thank you all for the subs. She's jealous of you, yeah. Okay, compliment appearance. Attempt to seduce, I don't know. The fact that they're out in the rain like this is just terrible. <laughs> oh. I should get the mail. We're starting to have too much money. I, this is, well, can you not reach the mail? Why? Well, I placed it here with no move objects. Get the mail again. Try it, try it, try it. Thank you. My game is lagging. It's fine. She basically had like nothing. Who sent you a Who sent you a robotic school project? <laughs> what are they trying to tell you? That you need to do projects? You're grown. Oh, bye Snappy. Are you leaving? Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Cubic, thank you for the four months by the way. And she's going underneath the couch to sit. Um, Anna, thank you for the sub too. Okay. 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 What was I gonna do? Talk to... Where did she go? <gasps> she went in the secret basement? Oh God, maybe this is the evil one. Uh oh, you weren't supposed to see this place. And look, my vault door is open. Close the vault, close the vault. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I forgot to lock the door. It's fine. They can kiss down here. And she broke it! To the pond. Look. She had no business going down there. She had no business going down there into that secret basement. That's all I'm gonna say. She's seen too much. It's fine, there's another one of her. She has a clone. I placed two of her in the save by accident. So we can just get a new one. <laughs> I can just replace my girlfriend with, <laughs> with her clone. This is bad. It's fine. Look, we had to get rid of one. Of, like, I placed the sim twice by accident. What's worse? I have to- Someone- One of them has to die or be deleted. Uh-oh. But it, like, we can't have two of them. So something has to be done to fix this problem in the save. This is the best thing we can do. She knew too much. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, stop it! You're laughing! Poppy is laughing! Oh! Poppy! I, it's because.
because Poppy is evil. She probably has like a good a good moodlet from this. Bubbles. Oh, now she's crying. Oh. Well there. Who are you? Annabeth Steinberg. I got literally no clue. I have no clue who that is. I've never seen that person in my life. I probably have her grave in my front yard. I have literally no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. This one I know. Austin is like my great, 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 great granddad or something. I don't know how far, how many greats, but her? No idea. She might be one of the pet adoption people that I killed. I don't think she's the lady that died at the bar, but we have a couple of graves people that died at the bar. Like this, this lady died at the bar. This person died at the park. Oh my god, I put haha -ha loser on Eugene's grave. Don't worry, Eugene came back to life. I used Ambrosia to bring him back to life, so he's fine. I put haha -ha loser on his grave. I didn't remember that. Anyway, he's fine. I brought him back to life, so. He's right there. He's good. Don't worry. Anyway, this is my new gravestone. Thank you very much. I will be placing this right here. Um, description. She saw too much, and she was a clone. That'll be good. We'll remember what, who she was. Okay, let me get rid of the sadness on that one. You, it had to be done. Now we can just start dating the other one, you know? Problem solved. And then maybe next time I won't place the same sim twice by accident in my save <laughs> and have to kill one of them. <laughs> but it's okay. Something had to be done to fix it, and I fixed it. I do- I do still stand by the fact that I think this was more humane. Did Crystal say something about the baby? Oh, I don't know. I don't think Crystal called yet about the baby. I don't think anyone has said anything about the- Because I tried to get someone to change jobs, and I tried to get Crystal to have a baby, but no one has said anything yet. Anyway, honestly, what's worse, deleting or killing? Deleting, she would have ceased to exist. Now that she's dead, she'll be at my house as a ghost all the time. I think that's fine. I think this is better. If you delete it, she would have been gone gone. See? Okay, I need to speed up. <laughs> Anyway, um, you know, Tori, maybe I did just want another gravestone. And is there anything wrong with that? No. I just heard Dad say Lady Gaga. What do you think he's talking about? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Stop, get some help. What, Tori, I like it. Anyway, Aloha with the tier 2 20 months love and, and Kai with the 16 months Sammy with the 5 months Spooky with the 5 months Ainsley, Joanna, Jesse, Michaela, Sugary, Anna, Cubic, thank you all for the subs, Ravenclaw with the 10 months, also Lexi, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, oh my goodness. I mean, to be fair, who doesn't really t randomly talk about Lady Gaga? I, I get it. I understand. I do. Um... Anyway, thank you, Lexi, for the gifted subs. You sold all your belongings when you moved and you forgot to put your husband's gravestone in your inventory. You sold your dead husband? Oh, that's cold. And you think I'm bad? You sold him! I t- oh, man, I did, you know... One time I did recycle a dead husband. 
two times I recycled a dead husband. Because you can recycle a gravestone in the recycling machine in Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> I, I have done that a couple times. Look, it was for science. Um, I, I felt it was important to, to look, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have an excuse for that one, okay? I, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I lock this door for everyone, but, um, because I don't think it's locked yet. The, I, someone did have to die because of this, so... Anyway, it was for the environment, okay? I was trying to do a good thing. In my opinion, it was worth it. Okay, I have work in four hours. I don't like her work schedule. I don't know. <laughs> Mosh, Punch, Phantom, Hot Sauce, uh, Clem, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, okay, I think... Um, the dogs are sad. Maybe I should hang out with the dog a little bit. It also, hang on, one more thing. It was Bob Pancakes. Do, does that change your mind? Basically, what happened was, I was playing with my sim self, and um, I happen to know that my sim self looks exactly like Bob Pan No, like Eliza Pancakes. My sim self, Eliza Pancakes, were the same. So, I, as me, stole Eliza's husband. I married Bob. And then, you know... And then I recycle them. But does Bob Pancakes being the one who got recycled make it better? I don't know. I think I may have done it to Eliza too. I might have done both. I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> that was during a charity stream. Um, that was during a charity stream for Color of Change. And it was on the front page of Twitch when that happened. And, um... We were, we were streaming, right? And then Elgato, like Elgato, the, the people with the stream deck, you know, um, the company, they came in, they donated $5,000 to my Color of Change charity stream, and then they put as their name, because you can put when you donate, like, a name and a message. Well, they put it all in one. Their name said Elgato-DivorceBob. <laughs> And so, at like the top of the stream, for the rest of the month that I was fundraising, it said, top donor, Elgato Dash Divorce Bob. <laughs> so I divorced him and then I killed him. And recycled him. But anyway, the, the top donor said Elgato Dash Divorce Bob for like weeks because of that. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Um, but I... I enjoyed it. No, they didn't say to kill Bob. They didn't, they didn't say to kill Bob, but I <sighs> improvised. I did both. <laughs> Spice Ellen, pale, thank you for the subs. Also, one more thing. That was also the same day that they had gotten married in my save. Like, I got married in front of my dumpster in my backyard, and then Elgato comes in and they're like, divorce him. Like, it was, like, within minutes. Like, the same day in-game. Not even the same day in real life. Like, the same day in-game. It was, like, right after we got married. <laughs> um, it was fun. Oh, it's love day. You peed your pants? Dan's yelling again. You can't just keep peeing. Needles, thank you for the gifted subs again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking that now would be a good time for us to start officially dating Harvey. But I also want to go check on my, um, my sister-in-law. No. Oh, I guess it's her aunt. But they're, like, the same age. Because we tried to tell her to have another baby. So I want to see if she's pregnant or not. Like we asked her to be. With the update. <laughs> Planty, thank you for the 17 months. Oh yeah, then you can make a rug out of the bits and pieces that you recycle from your graves. Yeah. I got married in my backyard behind the dumpster. Well, what? Do you not do stuff like that? Ooh! London Clear. That's my cousin, right? Yeah! 
yeah, they aged up. That's fun. Shrimp died? That's mine now. <laughs> Shrimp was the cat. Oh, man. Well, I don't think she's pregnant. How do you make them, how do you make them have a baby? I don't get it. Dan, shh. You think it takes longer? I mean, it could take a couple days. I'll let her keep waiting. Oh no, it says invite to feel baby because I'm pregnant. When it says invite to feel baby, it means like invite to feel my baby. They called back informing it happened. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it yet. Um Oh, Mary wants to see the kitty cat. Christine, here, look. Hey Mary, look at the kitty cat. It's nice and happy and all squishy. That's all. Nothing else happened to the kitty cat. Wait. That's a human grave. It's supposed to be. That must be a glitch, right? Because that's happened before, because it happened, it was like outside of the household. <laughs> oh no, shrimp was a human in disguise. Wait, let's try and summon the ghost, right? Can you do that? Shrimp's connection to the world is slowly withering. That was a close one. Maybe shrimp will come today. Anyway, shrimp has evolved. <laughs> Steph, Shoopy, Shelby, thank you all for the subs and bits. When this whole legacy is over with, you should take every grave you have and make a rug with it and then have the last air lounge with it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, anyway, I'm too embarrassed, but I don't wanna be anymore. I also think I want to take the day off work because I don't want to work from 10 to 7. Those are annoying hours. Um, what I do want to do is um, ask Harvey out on a date for Love Day. See? Anyway, I simply choose to not be embarrassed. You got your first salary job today. Jazzy, that is huge. Congratulations. Um, also, Shelby, your mom got a new dog. That's so fun, too! Um, and Sarah and Deli and Paley, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Let's see if we can have them date. Shrimp is now a human, werewolves confirmed. God, could you imagine? <laughs> My cat turned into a human. My cat's grave turned into a human one. Werewolves confirmed. <laughs> That's exactly how it works, yep. I think- I think that sounds about right. <laughs> Caress cheek, oh my goodness. Blow a kiss. Ask risque question. Okay, let's go have them sit together. Sounds legit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't think she's feeling okay. Oh, I should probably tell him I'm pregnant. Oh, hey, you know how we started dating kind of yesterday? And we're still not officially dating? Yeah, well. He seemed nice about it. Whisper sweet nothings. Did I get a gold date yet? There you go. This is Gen 8. Their baby that she's pregnant with will be Gen 9. Um, 
Hey, Lexi, I that is really stressful, I bet. Um, but thank you for the thousand bits, and I'm glad we can we can hang out while you're painting. I bet it's gonna turn out amazing, and your friend is gonna love it. Um, that is gonna be really lovely for them. Um, although I can imagine that you're probably really stressed. Um, okay, I want them to start dating! Did I have them start dating? Already? A jam-tastic gift. You are my jam. So many feelings can fit in a small jar? What, did I literally give him jam? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, Ryan, yes! Oh my gosh, okay, so my favorite vegan restaurant in Orlando, um, it's called Market on South, there's two restaurants in it. Um, there's a vegan bakery and a restaurant called Dharma Fine Vittles. The bakery's called Valhalla Bakery. They are so good. If you're coming to Orlando, must try. Must try. A lot of people in Orlando also like this place called Ethos in Winter Park, which is also really good, but I think that if you're gonna go to just one, mark it on south. Anyway. <laughs> um, that is my- should I call Baby Jam? Should I call the kid Jam? <laughs> Twins? <laughs> this is so irritating. I didn't do that on per- you saw! We can call them Jam and Jelly. Well, that's actually kind of funny. Wait, what if we call- wait, what if one of them is called Peanut Butter? What if we call him, like, PB? People get called PJ, that's a nick- PB? PB and Jam. <laughs> we can call them PB and Jam. <laughs> no, that's funny, I like that. I think- I think that's my- yeah, I'm- I'm down for that. That is terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you two are really something else, huh? Woohoo in the bush. You are disgusting! It's a park! I like this sim. I don't want to cheat on him! Do I know I gave her this aspiration, but... I don't want to cheat on Harvey! I really like Harvey! Oh yeah, you know what? Her outfit does look like it's uncomfortable. The poor girl is pregnant. We probably should give her something comfier. He's so nice! I don't want to cheat on him! Maybe like a big sweater with some leggings or something. That's what I would want to wear. Oh my god, I'm not pregnant by the way. Don't freak out, chat. You have to like preface this every time you say anything. Just so we're clear! Anyway, I don't know if I want to cheat on him or not. I don't think I want to wear this. <laughs> um, what do you think? Can we do a poll? Hang on. What am I looking for? Uh, Discover University. Oh, sorry, did I mean to yawn? She's got some nice leggings. Can we get a big hoodie? Polly? Well, that's the thing. Polyamorous is not the same thing as the aspiration. I, d I think we need to be clear here that when the aspiration tells you to cheat on people, that is not the same thing as a consensual polyamorous relationship. <laughs> that is not the same thing. <laughs> the game literally says, get caught cheating ten times. I think it is very not good to conflate those two things, okay? Um, very different. <laughs> Not the same. Um, <laughs> come back, Kat, Erin, Ray, Madison, um, Jess, and Mrs. Cat. Thank you all for the subs and stuff, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it's not. That's not the same thing. <laughs> um, 
Um, oh wait, we have a big hoodie now. That actually, this is kind of fun. This could be cozy. I kind of like it. People don't want to cheat on. People don't want to cheat on him. Maybe they could stay together. Maybe that would be good. Yeah, the aspiration is ten times. I'll show you. The aspiration says to get caught cheating ten times and have five breakups, and also break up ten other couples. Anyway, um, key words here, caught and cheating. <laughs> not the same thing as polyamory. Um, that is not the same thing and re really shouldn't be conflating those two things. <laughs> um, but look, the aspiration says get caught cheating. Perform romantic socials near Poppy's significant other with a sim who is not her significant other. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. This is the new one that just came out today, this aspiration, but I don't know if we should do it. She She's in the, um, the hacking career. Maybe she could be a computer whiz. I don't know. We can have someone else do the aspiration. I like this sim too much. I really like him. Like, a lot. You know? Yeah, there's two new aspirations. The other aspiration is not, um, I don't know if it's for her. The other aspiration is the neighborhood confidant one. It's like the nice one to successfully advise and influence the lives of other sims. But she's evil. You know? <laughs> like, like, she's evil. Do we want to be nice to people? <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Yeah, those- these two aspirations came out today, in the update, so. Um, Kat, Mari, MJ, um, Stein and Comeback and, and Avocado, thank you all for the subs. Um, maybe she's a nice evil? <laughs> What's a nice evil? Oh no, her outfit's safe, she's just wearing- it was- I was an extra outfit, I didn't change her outfit completely, she still got it. Um, her outfit did save, don't worry. I don't think it's possible to be a nice evil. I think, um, when it comes to evil, you're either all in or you're all out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> evil is quite a strong word. Um, Lawful evil? What's lawful evil? Think about realistically, the word- I know that people say that a lot, like, chaotic good and lawful evil and whatever, but... Evil... Is a really strong word. <laughs> you know, like... You can be like a nice mean. Or like a nice bad person, but evil? I don't know if you're a nice evil. Maybe I'll craft some- craft- maybe I'll grill some fruit. <laughs> She's an evil wannabe. You know? <laughs> uh, that's an interesting idea, Oral, maybe. Um, we can decide if we want to dump the guy later. To be fair, we probably should date him for at least a little bit, and we can always change our minds. We probably should him for a little bit, though, just because we're gonna need his help. Stay away from that! <sighs> this is not funny. <gasps> Frankie, Jenna, Lexi, Ace, thank you all for the subs. This is not funny. Stay away! Stay away, but I he teleported. What the heck? Oh no. Okay, something is wrong here. Something is very wrong here. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll go home. <laughs> oh, you know what I want to do actually? Bring Rose here, switch it up. Alexia, I would like to have them date too. If we could just get them all taken care of, you know, everyone starts dating. 
Loki wanted to see him eaten. To be fair, it would be kind of funny if, if he got eaten, but... Oh, you're pretty. Oh my gosh, look at how cute she is. The game's been generating a lot of really cute townies recently. Look. Oh my goodness. And look at this one. <laughs> look at how cute this one is. Anyway, my, um, my boyfriend, Poppy's boyfriend, this guy, he was a game generated townie too. They're turning out pretty well. Anyway, where did, here she is. Funny introduction, perhaps. Sims are just walking around. Oh wait, wrong Sim. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do you wanna give a love day gift? How about this book? You have three Agatha Crumble Bottoms in your game. Yeah, that is a known that is a known glitch. The game like continuously generating Crumble Bottoms. Um, I have heard of that happening to other people. I don't think that you're alone in that one. Oh, you look pretty too. Dan just went. What about the Sims Four update? <laughs> I really wonder what he's talking about sometimes, you know? Like, what it, what what brought you to say that? What you talking about? Uh. Well, hey, he looks like Raul because he's descended from him. Um, so you know the in uh in Cottage Living, the mayor and the mayor's son that is the grocer. Um, my boyfriend is descended from them, like with MC Command Center. It so he he looks like him because he's related to him. <laughs> um, I think that. Merle might be like his grandpa, or maybe it's his dad, I don't remember. Um, why are there two Alexias? Oh, because I placed two by accident in the save, so I had to kill one of them. Because um, there was two of them by accident. <laughs> I downloaded them twice off my gallery, and then... Anyway, problem solved though. Yes, the hot grocery guy, yep. I mean, he looks like, I mean, he looks like him. Well, she's sad. Oh, not anymore. She was sad because I killed her clone, but... Now the clone's gone and you're not sad anymore. So this kind of solves my problem. What are you so embarrassed about? Kitty, Lil Peachy, Miranda, Frankie, thank you all for the subs. I also had to kill her because she went into my secret basement, so I was concerned that she had seen too much of my secret basement, so I had to get rid of her. Um. Anyway, why is Curly? Thank you for the five months. Anyway. Oh, I just want you guys to start- wait, I love your outfit! I don't love yours as much. I must admit, this is quite the combo. Should I fix it for her? I think there's supposed to be a new hair coming out tomorrow, right? Didn't they say the first, um, Sims Delivery Express was gonna come out tomorrow and we would get the new hair? Yeah, the leggings being gone is a major improvement. I must admit. You can keep the dress. No, the hair I think is tomorrow, and then the next one with the furniture is the seventh, as far as I'm aware. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Is it next week now? Oh. I thought it was gonna be two separate ones. From what the, the description, blog post, whatever said, but... It may have changed, I don't know. Um... It comes out on the 7th, the rest comes even later. Oh, they made a mistake? Uh-oh. I wonder if that means they didn't actually make a mistake and it means that something went wrong and the system isn't ready to work yet. That sounds to me like there was an, an issue and they had to push it and not just like an oopsie, we said the wrong day. Right? 
Anyway, I don't even know who this Sim is. I don't need to give her an outfit. See, why the gloves and the bra- like... The 7th and the 14th. Well, you know what? That actually works out for me because I have to go to my cousin's wedding on the 7th, so... <laughs> or on the 8th is my cousin's- I'm going to my cousin's wedding. The 14th is fine. Let me put it on my schedule. There you go. Anyway, let me give her a... Uh... Literally any dress would be better. I'm serious. Maybe the green. Is Dan being louder than usual? No, do you think he is? I don't care about her anymore. I don't care about her anymore. Snaily, wise girly Mel, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, stop dressing random sims? You stop dressing random sims, Jasper! I'll dress whoever I want. Maybe I'll pick another one now. <laughs> Be Mel, Snaily, wise girly. Oh, now I'm in her house. Oh wait, no, this is me. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was in <laughs> This is me! This is my house! This is my household! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I aged up into an elder, I forgot. That's really embarrassing. <sighs> anyway, I'll just be tending to my garden. Um... How are you all doing? How, how are we doing, everybody? Oh, cute! Grab a serving of this. Are you hungry even? Not really. Not really. Jaden, did I not mention your sub? Um, I don't see it in the list, so it's possible that you didn't play it. Was it a prime sub? Try and refresh and play the alert yourself. If you actually did that already and I still missed it, I'm sorry. Thank you for the sub, but try and refresh and see if you can play the alert. That might be why. Um, Simterior, Shoopy, Lucy, thank you all for the subs, too. Okay. Um, I think I play the alert. So if you resub with Prime, um, you'll resub and then nothing will happen in chat, right? Because it wants you to type a message and then send it. But for that pop-up to appear, you have to refresh sometimes. Um, so people will be like, I reset and you didn't say anything. And I'll be like, because I couldn't see it. <laughs> um, so you, it's, it's just giving you a chance to put a message with it. Um, you don't have to, but it's giving you a chance to like share the resub. It's because like regular subs um, that auto-renew, uh, obviously it'll, it'll give you the thingy after it renews. Well, you have to renew it yourself with a Prime sub. Or if you like had a sub gift and you subscribe for a second time now, like, it's, it's like a resub, technically, um, so it's giving you a chance to share a message, so. It's confusing. I, I can, I get confused with it, too, so. <laughs> Seller, Emily, thank you for the subs and bits, too, everybody. Um, and Black Rose with the sub gift, as well. Oh, my goodness. Um, thanks, May, I appreciate that. Um, and Mommy Stella, thank you for the three months. Okay, maybe you can cook some more. Honey bat, I don't know what you did either. If it said that you, if, if the thingy was like, this conflicts with the channel's moderation settings, don't worry, you're not in trouble. We can't even see what you tried to say. It's not a big deal. <laughs> don't worry. Um, oh, Jaden, it looks like it was your first sub. Wait, when did you, when did it happen? When did I miss it? I don't see it in my list. I'm sorry, thank you for the sub, Jaden. Um, that's really weird and confusing. Either way, thank you for the sub. Um, okay. You like the tree? I love the tree being up. I think it's so fun. It's huge. I think it's really fun um, as a video background for the holidays. Oh my god, speaking of- Oh! So tomorrow is the first day of our advent calendar. Um, because tomorrow, obviously, is December 1st. Um, and every year on stream for the past three years, I've bought an advent calendar to open every day on stream. Um, and tomorrow is day one. I'm really excited. My advent calendar... Can I tell you what it is? Oh, it's so stupid. It's slime. <laughs> oh, it's- this is the best one yet! Um, anyway, I bought a slime advent calendar. 
So <laughs> I was looking for like a really silly one and I thought that one was good. So anyway, who knows what it's going to be like. Um, but it should be fun. <laughs> like last year I had a rubber duck one. So I had a bunch of ducks. Um, one year I had a Paw Patrol one. I had a dinosaur one. Um, anyway, it's great. This is my, this is now my fourth ever advent calendar. I never had them growing up. My, like, that wasn't a thing that we ever did, but I bought one as, on stream as a joke once and now it's become a thing. The first one ever was Paw Patrol. Because I decided that I wanted to do it kind of late, and the only one that I could find was a Paw Patrol one. So. <laughs> They're kind of fun. I kind of like it. Anyway, can you mop this? It's your mess. You're the ghost who's dripping everywhere. Oh. Wait, why are you so tired? I guess it's because she's pregnant. Wait, that's not even your bedroom. There's just downstairs. Use the bathroom, then you can go to sleep. How pregnant are you? She's in her third trimester already? Yeah, I think that most people just do chocolate advent calendars. Um, I don't know how easy it would be to find a chocolate advent calendar with no milk in it though. So I didn't even try. I just assumed I wouldn't be able to get one. <laughs> so I, I just didn't bother. <laughs> um, but, you know. <laughs> Melody, BQ, Grace, Jasper, Michaela, Shan, Mad World, Kristen, Muggle, Julia. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, they have like sock one. There's all kinds of fun advent calendars. I mean, I'm, I'm very into the idea of these. I, I talked about it on stream before, but like, I like the idea of, of making one for yourself as well. Not even like for Christmas, like forget the advent part of this. I just like the idea of there being like, I don't know, because you can get like a box that is empty and you can put the numbers on it and then put stuff in it. But like, it's your birthday month and you want to give yourself a chocolate each day, put it in an advent calendar. Eat a chocolate each day. I think it's a good idea. I think it's fun. <laughs> um, or you could like, you and your your mom could make one for each other. Like, I just think it's cute. I feel like you can't go wrong. So, anyway, <laughs> I like it. I like it. You have a marshmallow toasting one? That's so cool. They make loads of like beauty ones as well. I haven't bought any of them ever, but I saw there's this YouTuber um, that keeps popping up my recommended. So I've watched a couple of her videos, but she has bought like a million advent calendars. Let me see if I can find it. Cause she's bought like a million advent calendars like from various beauty brands. And I don't watch beauty gurus. I don't know anything about this business, but I really have enjoyed watching her open the advent calendars. <laughs> Why can't I see one I recommended? I've seen them like all over the place and now I'm looking, I can't find one. Um, but anyway, I think it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> it's fun to see what's in them. But the, the beauty ones are expensive and a lot of times they seem like they suck. Alexandria Ryan, that's her name. There you go. Um, but the beauty ones, they're expensive and they seem like a waste of money sometimes. Like there was, she opened um, two of the ones from e.l.f. I, that's the first video I saw and I watched it. Um, but the they were like actually bad. They were like $50. I think it was like 50 for the cheaper one, 45 maybe. Um, and the stuff in it did not seem like it added up to that much money. Anyway, it's, it's fun when you get like a mystery box that gives you like extra value for your money. But at that point, if you're buying the advent calendar and it's got bad things in it, you're spending all this money on stuff that you don't even want. Like it came with an eyebrow pencil. And there's no shade selection, so like it just gives you an eyebrow pencil. Well, does it match? Like, <laughs> and what if you hate the lipstick color? Like, I don't know. Um, it, that's it's like fun, but also realistically, you would be way better off just buying your own because then you can pick the colors and stuff. Um, yeah, I feel. Did the Macy's ones come with a gift card? Are you kidding? 
Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. There's a an advent calendar from Macy's that comes with a gift card. Like a Macy's gift card in the advent calendar? No. Is it like day 24? Is a coupon? <laughs> Like a part refund? That's so funny. Oh my god. You, you're opening each day. It's a $10 off coupon on a $40 purchase. On the, it is the last day. Oh, that's so funny. The last day in the advent calendar. It's the big lead up to get to the last day and it's a $10 off a $40 purchase. That's insulting. A coupon? And do you know how like, um, and it's valid before 2022. It expires at the end of December? No, no, that's even worse. No way. No way it expires at the end of December. No, it's only valid for January. Are you serious? That's horrible. Oh my, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. That's gotta be one of the, I can't, I. <laughs> and I was gonna say, you know how, cause like Macy sells like a lot of high end makeup. Um, you know how like, like they have like all the fancy stuff. But you know how sometimes when there's coupons for those kind of places, it's like valid on everything except like all the expensive things, like all the nice things you might actually want to buy. Imagine it's like valid on all makeup except <laughs> all the nice brands. <laughs> I could like Sephora, like sometimes has coupons like that. And Ulta will have coupons where like you can only use them on the drugstore stuff and not the fancy stuff. Um, but Im I don't know what the coupon with the requirements are, but I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't even use it on most of their stuff. That is hilarious. <laughs> I guess this is one of those things where it wouldn't be as bad if the advent calendar was like a gift for someone else, you know? But if you bought yourself the advent calendar to get given the coupon on the last day is like such a slap in the face. <laughs> That's so, so embarrassing and cringe. I, Macy's, fail on your part. Terrible. <laughs> oh, the sharks at three times speed are kind of funny, I know. <laughs> anyway, Jody Swags. Spud, Eve, Anna, Sarah, Fresca, Amy, Kai, thank you all for the subs too, and Zinc as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, but, well, yeah, most places have some exceptions to their coupons, Black Rose. I know that, but a lot of the coupons that I've seen for beauty brands, I'm thinking about Ulta in particular, because Ulta, Ulta is a store kind of like Sephora. I don't know if you have that where you are. It's a makeup store, but Ulta has like a combination of drugstore brands, like things you could find at like CVS or whatever, and also some higher end, like, fancy brands. Like, you could probably get, like, Mac at Ulta or whatever. I don't know if you can. Um, but a lot of times they're coupons. You can only use them on the drugstore stuff and not on the, like, fancy stuff. Um, so, but that's, like, half the store. But, like, all their prestige brands are excluded from the coupons. Um, so the joke was, like, <laughs> um, would would the Macy's coupon exclude like all the fancy stuff? Um, no, Ulta's not like Boots or Superdrug. Ulta sells stuff that they would sell in Boots and Superdrug though. Like that's, that's what I'm talking about when I say drugstore makeup is the things that you would find in Boots. Um, and then there's also like the fancier brands that are more expensive, you know? Ulta would have both of those. Um, but CVS is, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, like those are all drugstores. You might have something similar. Um, but anyway, Ulta is not Sephora, but it's like Sephora in the sense that it's a makeup store. I don't know. Let me get some leftovers, please. 
you too. It's Sephora, but they also have cheaper things. But all the major stuff is the same price as Sephora, right? Yeah, Sephora is all fancy. <laughs> um, but anyway. It is very complicated trying to explain these kind of things to, like, people from other places, you know? Because it's like, I don't know what to compare it to, because the only things that I can compare it to are, like, American brands, but you wouldn't know what that is either. So when you try to explain it to someone, it's like, well, um, it's like... <laughs> I don't know where you are. <laughs> I don't know what a, what a comparison store is for you. <laughs> um, Fish, Terry, Bella, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um... <laughs> okay, do you have work today? No, thank god. Well, I'm also gonna give birth today, so that's very exciting. Um, fruit cobbler. Oh, who made that? That seems nice. Isn't Sephora French? I have no idea. I have no idea. And even then, I don't know who- I don't know where they are outside of only here. I don't- I've never been to a Sephora in a different country, so I don't know. They might be, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I don't know much about makeup brands, okay? I'm not the most, <laughs> I'm not the most familiar. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm, I'm the wrong person to be discussing this. I have literally no clue. <laughs> Purple with the tier two, 18 months. Um, thank you for the sub as well. Um, sports all over the world. Okay, there you go. Um, no Sephora in England, though. See? So I don't know where they have it. My major experience with other countries is England. <laughs> I've been there, and I've not been anywhere else, really. So... There is? There's one in Liverpool? Oh, really? I went to Liverpool once. I did not have a good experience in Liverpool. That's the time I got dragged to a place called the Meat Factory to watch England lose the World Cup. I haven't eaten meat since I was, like, 16. So. Anyway. <laughs> I did not have a good experience in Liverpool. There were other bad things that happened, but we don't need to air, out. We don't need to air those out. <laughs> um... I should come to Scotland? Maybe someday. That would be fun. Um, currently, uh, Daniel cannot leave the country. Um, until he gets his green card, so... <laughs> um, maybe someday. Later. Um, okay. I think... I want focusing decor. Enable. All right, and she needs to maintain focus for two hours straight of video gaming. And I will do just that. Um, so for how long can he leave? He, we applied for his green card a couple of months ago. Like three months ago. Um, and it, it takes like probably a year or maybe a little bit more than that to get the green card. It's kind of hard to say. Um, you're sort of just hoping and, and basing off what people have said their timeline was online, um, but I, I wouldn't expect him to get his green card until next summer. We also applied for something called advanced parole, um, which gives him permission to leave the country before the green card um, at the same time, and we might get that sooner than the green card, but even then it won't be until next year, so. I don't know. It's out of our control. We applied, like, it's sent. <laughs> Um, it takes a lot of people, like, 14, 15, 16 months to adjust status. It really just depends on the situation. It can depend on where you are as well. Um, like, because a part of it has to do with your local office, and you have to have, like, an interview there and stuff. So, depending on where you are, the backlog might be better or worse, or... Ah. Um, he can't leave without it because they would, uh, take it as him abandoning his adjustment of status. So, Dan came here on a K-1 visa. And then once we got married, we filed to adjust status. And if he were to leave, they would take it as him abandoning that adjustment of status. And then we'd have to start over. Like, we'd have to, like, reapply for a new visa, basically, if he left the country. Because um, he would be considered abandoning it. 
So, um, that's why. <laughs> um, it's a weird thing. It's all very complicated. Oh no! I didn't maintain my focus because I went into labor. You can leave the state. Yeah, that's fine. You can't leave the country though. Um, you can't leave the country. Oh, it's baby time. I should say baby's time. She's gonna have twins. We're gonna call them... This one is Jam. And her brother, PB. Okay. <laughs> well, we got two babies. PB and J, get in. Put the babies up here. I did not expect to have twins. I am very displeased with this, um, but that's fine. Could have been Phoebe. No. Oh my god, this is Gen 9. Wait, 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 wait. This is Gen 9! No, not PJ, PB. Like peanut butter. This is Gen 9. Oh, this is very exciting. How did that even happen? Um, well, we've been playing for a long time. That's how it happened, but you know. <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay. Um, I guess technically one of them would be like the last heir, right? Because you, you probably wouldn't pick a Gen 10 heir as far as the like 10 Gen legacy is concerned. Um, because it would end. We're gonna play Not So Berry after this, which is quite exciting. We're gonna do 10 generations of this and then play Not So Berry. Possibly with the 10th generation sim. We aren't sure yet though. Depends who they are. Um. <laughs> um, we started this Let's Play, was it in April of last year or was it in May? Um, I don't remember exactly. What's Not So Berry? Not So Berry is a legacy challenge that me and my friend Zoe wrote, um, in like 2017. We wrote it together like years ago. Um, so it's been a while, <laughs> but it's a legacy that we wrote together. Um, so. No, April was after the Bell Legacy, wasn't it? Cause the Bell Legacy I started in like September. I've been doing that for over a year already. It was this year, I think it was only like, it was only this year that we started this one. We're farther along in this one um, than the Bell Legacy because it's easier to get further because we play for like three hours a day, multiple times a week versus like I record for like an hour a day, once a week with the, the Bell Legacy. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm- I'm pretty sure it was in, like, September or October of last year. What?! After thinking about it more thoroughly, I realized that a career change is not in the cards for me. I do ever appreciate your concern, so thank you, Holly 4.1. You ungrateful little brat! I tried to help you! It's been days, though. It's been days. Like, we asked him to change his career fully an hour and a half ago in real life. To the pond? I already killed him once and brought him back to life. I can't kill him again. Yeah, my sim- She dedicated her whole life to cooking and- and gardening to- Oh, now you want to come over? She dedicated her whole life to crafting Ambrosia. Just to bring him back to life. And this is how he repays me? Anyway, I'm gonna, I think, invite Harvey to move in with me. Um, yeah, it is kind of fun that it won't always work when you tell the neighbors to do stuff. It's kind of cool. It gives you a chance to, like, attempt to influence your surroundings, but you can't, like, control everything. It truly, I think, is more fun that there's, like, some random nature to this. Like, it's not completely up to you. You can't just play God and be like, change your career, do your job. Because you can already do that. Like, I could already, like, go into his household and change it and cheat it if I wanted to. But it's kind of fun to be like, hey, you should consider changing it and then have them actually decide if they want to or not, you know? Um, 
I, I think that's kind of fun. Because they think for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm interested that that happened. I think that's actually quite cool. So. I like it. I like it. Let's do a bold pickup line. Why is my dog... Why are you coming from over there? Where did you go? <laughs> Where was he? What? what? <laughs> the first stream was April 5th. Okay, our first ever Potts Family stream was April 5th. So, alright, ask me boyfriend- What, you're bored? I bore you? I'm not kidding. This close to killing this guy. Oh, that was way before Dan moved to the US. Dan only moved here on July 30th, at like the very end of, of July. Um, so we've been playing this way longer than Dan's existed. <laughs> okay, well he's dating me. I might invite him to move in with me. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have to move in. Oh, I scrolled past it. Because now we have a child together, two children together, and I am not changing diapers alone. <laughs> oh, I don't want his money. Oh no. Wait, I pressed the wrong button. Um. I had like 20,000 simoleons. I'm gonna put it back down. I don't want to have all this money. I don't- I don't want it. 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 Too much money. That's even less than I had before. But I want even less. I- I just- I- I spent some money to convince him to live with me. You- we had to pay a mover. To help. Yeah, he had 22,300, didn't he? That was how much he had, not how much I had, right? Oh, he doesn't have a job? He has the charisma, fitness, gardening, and logic skills. Oh, he was gonna be a candle maker, that's right. Um, let's have him join a career. <laughs> Evil, Abby, uh, Kill and Curious, and Sarah, and Katie, and Banana, and Sophia, and Miko, and Paisia, and B, thank you, Nope, and Pippi, and Olivia. How is Sunday, Elrose? How did I miss this? Happy birthday, um, Beepo. Thank happy birthday. I'll sing you a song. <laughs> okay. Maybe he'll get involved in, like, the, um... I don't know. What should I have him do? Something easy that I can just send him. Maybe he's a doctor! And I will never once attend an active day at work. Oh, he's already an adult? But she's barely a young adult. He's gonna die. Kayla, now can we cheat on him? Because he's gonna die? You want me to cheat on him when he dies? Before, right before he dies? I'll think about it. <laughs> Happy evil kitten, Armstrong. Thank you all for the subs. You know what else? Um, besties, do you mind if I run and go pee? I kind of need to pee. Someone said yes. Oh, okay, I'll stay. No, I'll be right back. Um, I'll, I'll be back in like two minutes, I swear. Oh, I guess, wait. Yeah, I'll be back in like two minutes, I swear. <laughs> I'll see you in a second.
My headphones are tangled. Hang on. How does this happen? How does this happen? I'm back. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. I have returned. Nothing bad happened, right? <laughs> okay, Lady Bird, thank you for the sub, by the way. Uh, nothing bad happened yet. We should say. Did I wash my hands? Oh yes, very well. Scrubbed them. There is a new poll. Hmm. Should she cheat on Harvey since he's so old? Yeah, it can't hurt. Or no, he's a doctor. 74% of you say, yeah, it can't hurt. What do you mean it can't hurt? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh my god. Okay, well. Who would she be hurting? He's old. Oh my god. <laughs> Who are you people? Oh, jeez. I scared myself. Come back. <sighs> you know, people are gonna think that we're bad people for this. They're gonna get the wrong impression of us. Imagine it's their first day here, and they hear you saying these things. Then what? <laughs> Katie, Gabby, Sapphire, Mina, Bethany, thank you all for the subs and bits. Hey, Gabby, I love you. I, I'm sending you lots of hugs. I'm glad we can be a distraction for you today. I'm Love Day? Or Romance Festival, I meant. Same thing. Should we go and have them get married at it? Oh my god, do you want to get married at the Romance Festival? No, we shouldn't get married. Ah, they only got engaged today. Maybe I'll go cheat on him with someone else. No, he's so cute! I don't want to cheat on him. Ugh. Fine, I will. No! Oh god! Fine. Do you know what else? This is a bad mindset. Listen, Kayla, you can't just not want to cheat because someone is attractive. You should cheat on anybody. Attractive or not. That's the right mindset to have. <laughs> Sarah, thank you for the sub gift to Gabby. Thank you so much. We cheat on everyone here, okay? Everybody gets cheated on. Whoa. What are you doing on the table? Why are you up there? Hello? <laughs> what is going on? This is a little bit too much for me to handle. He's in the lights as well, literally. You okay? Can I ask what possessed you to make this decision? Because he heard I was going to cheat and he said, no way. <laughs> Let's get some screenshots. Well, if you're so busy standing on the table, well, then maybe I'll go to the romance festival alone. You know what's pretty bad? The aspiration, if we put it back, the aspiration is not cheat 10 times. It's get caught cheating 10 times. So I have to bring him eventually. This is not good. Okay. Is anyone here? Philip 
McCurdy. It's a nice name. Oh, wait! Oh my god! Is that his wife? Ariel is right next to him? Why is your streak zero? I see 48 months. What do you mean, Hope? Wait, it's like a family business! That's really cute. Should I break him up? <laughs> Ahoy me matey! Um, as far as this goes, when it says get caught cheating, all you have to do, like, you could just flirt with someone in front of your partner, and then they would count it. Like, as long as your partner sees you doing a romantic interaction, they would count it as cheating. Anyway, I'm gonna break these two up. Whoa! Wait. That's my brother's wife! That's my brother's wife! She just- she just threw rose petals at somebody else right in front of me! Oh no 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 no. I saw that crystal clear. I- I saw it! Wow. Wow. Insult landlubber. Now I'm gonna get her for this. I'm not letting this slide. Wait, why is she running around? Did you have a baby? No. Then what's with the panic? Is it because I caught you cheating on my brother? Oh yeah, you're feeling scared? You better be. I don't think I want to kill- Do I have to kill her? She cheated on my brother! How could she do that? He's had such a hard life too! And do you know what else? I brought her back to life as well! My brother referring to this woman, Holly's brother. They were- Holly and Eugene were twins. And then they had a battle to the death to see who the heir should be. Eugene died, he wasn't the heir. But then Holly spent the rest of her life trying to bring Eugene back to life with Ambrosia. And then Eugene, before he came back to life, he was a ghost. He got a, a ghost girlfriend, like he wished for a girlfriend on the, the wishing well. And they gave him Crystal! And then the two of them were both dead and they were all cute. And then I brought Crystal and Eugene both back to life. After all of this? After everything they've been through? She cheats on him? Anyway, it's fine. Anyway, um, I think that throwing petals is actually a friendly interaction, but I don't stand for this. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Eugene, I think you should dump her. I think you should break up with her. I'm so sorry to tell you that- wait. Where is it? Can I not get him to dump her? Well, I'm gonna be trashing Crystal Clear, that's for sure. Come on. Tell him she sucks. I am, I am really just, I'm so upset. <sighs> Zoe Goose Steampunk, Goose Kings subscribes just after Goose Kingdom. Um, <laughs> also Feather, Ghost Onions, Nika, Lark, Steampunk, thank you all for the subs. Um, and Maya, thank you for the three months. Uh, I, I know the feeling very well, the, um, the driving anxiety. I'm sorry, they, Maya said that they got their permit in March. Um, they've been driving a lot more, and today was their first time driving on the actual road, and there was a cow in the middle of the road. Huh? To be fair, this is probably the only cow that you'll encounter in the middle of the road. Um, so good to get it over with. 
you know? Cross that one off the list. <laughs> That has happened to me multiple times during my drive to high school. You know, I don't know of many cows. I don't think I've ever seen a, a, um, a cow on the road. Ever. Is that like a thing that you guys have? Cows in the road? Really? Huh. There's loads of cows like along highways in the middle of Florida. And I think it's because these people buy up like big, big chunks of land and then they have to pay less taxes on it when they class it as agricultural land. So they put like four cows on it and then they call it a day. But like, I've never seen those cows in the road. Just sides of the road. They're not like free roaming cows. Um, I see deer. I've never seen a cow. A bunch of cows invaded a roundabout close to my train station one time when I was going to uni. Really? Oh my god. That's probably like a nightmare. What do you do? You've seen moose? Yeah, I don't have those. Never had a moose in the road. Not once. No problem with, with the moose. Mm-mm. I'm a Ariana Morgan bookish. I'm a wandering Irma Shelley <laughs> Plums 8. Thank you all for the subs. Granted, I live in Florida. There's not a huge moose population down here. I, I've seen um, wild boars, we have, um, and also bears. There, there has been more than one occasion when there was a bear on my university campus. There was also a bear in my parents' neighborhood once. My parents do not live in a place that would, there's not like trees, it's not a forest, like, but there was a bear that made, their, made its way into the neighborhood once. Yeah. Oh, and then there's the whole alligator problem, but you know. Those aren't gonna block the road, probably. <laughs> Ghost onions. You gotta save a turtle from getting squished. I've, I've seen people doing that too, with turtles trying to, like, being in the road. Not good. Not good. Um, anyway, gators. It says my VODs are unavailable? Ooh, that's a weird one. I didn't do anything to it. It could be that just the VODs are down. That's happened before on Twitch where, like, the VODs go down and, um, they came back up a few hours later. So it might just be, like, Twitch is breaking and saying the VODs aren't available. I can see them, though. I just tried to look and I could see it, so. Um. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I went to UCF, the University of Central Florida, one of the biggest schools in the country. They've still had a bear on campus. I saw photos. It was literally a bear like walking around outside one of the dorms. What is up with that? Okay, you know what I've decided I want to do? I've decided that I'm, I'm giving up on Rose. Um, Rose and new Alexia are doing great together, and I'm gonna move them out together. UCF is one of the last places I would have expected to see a bear. Yeah. Yeah. The bear was just trying to go to class, you know? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um... <laughs> You were watching a video of mine in your school's dining hall today and someone that you're mutual with looked over your shoulder and said, you would watch that? Okay, sick burn, buddy. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, you would watch Sims YouTubers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. Who, why, why? 
Oh, what do they watch on YouTube? Jake Paul? The notification I just got? What did I... <gasps> Whoa, Poppy. You're talking about one of my best friends here. Cut it out because I talked bad about his wife. But she was cheating on you right there. He's in denial. He doesn't want to believe it. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. I know, because you just, you loved her so much. It's really hard. <laughs> okay, wait, I was gonna move out my sister so I could kill his wife. I can't believe I just said those words together. I'm sorry. Here, I'll- oh, they don't need any money. What a statement that was. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move them in across the street, though, so that I can live near them. Oh, wait, don't move in with them. Evict them. Don't- you don't want to live with those random people. <laughs> okay, I forgot I have two babies. I'm killing his wife. I'm- I'm looking to expand my graveyard. I'm- I'm killing his wife. <laughs> Chill, Carol, thank you for the subs. <laughs> you know, you saying, by the way, Laura, see that you watch my videos in your, in your school's dining hall. Um, one of my friends one time sent me a picture of him in class. It was like in a lecture hall. <laughs> um, and the girl in front of him was watching my videos on her laptop, like with headphones in, in class. <laughs> She was playing a Lil Simsy video. Obviously, she didn't know that he knew me. Like, they never had spoken. Um, but <laughs> sent me a video of the girl in front of him playing one of my videos in class. <laughs> that is really funny. Like, j literally in the lecture hall. Like, class is in session. No joke. <sighs> oh, Crystal's angry. This is good. <laughs> Sorry about Dan. <laughs> Um, how much snow? Shoopy said that they were talking about how much snow Michigan Tech gets. I don't know. I, I get about negative snow around here. So I, any amount of snow will be surprising to me. Oh no, they have two children. They'll be okay with Eugene. Eugene will take good care of them. I'm not worried about it. You have a video of you watching Delhi during class? Really? <laughs> I, well, I respect it. Listen, sometime, well, I'm not condoning this, but I think we have all taken classes that were so useless, there was absolutely no point in being there. But you still have to go because you get like a participation grade. I, we have all taken useless classes, okay? I've, I've had them. You've had them. I get it. Curtain cynical with a tier two, 10 months. Thank you all so much for the resubs. Um, gotten more than 30 feet of snow once. What? That sounds a bit scary. You took bowling as your PE credit? Oh my God. I tell a story about the, the useless class that I had was um, my philosophy class. The professor, um, she used to decide what she was gonna lecture on when she got to class that day. And it was completely separate from the syllabus with like the readings. Zero overlap between the two. She would just talk. And our, our exams were based on the readings and only the readings. We had three exams only on the readings. So if you came to class, doesn't matter because it's only on the readings, you have to do the readings. But once a week, we had a pop quiz on yesterday's lecture. So I had our class Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then say we had a class on Monday, well, come, come Wednesday, there's a pop quiz on Monday's lecture. So if you missed Monday, you fail. If you missed Wednesday, you didn't take the quiz, you fail. So you had to come to class to take the stupid pop quizzes to get your points so you wouldn't fail. But the, the lectures were useless. She would just talk about nothing. So you, oh God, it was horrible. It was horrible. Anyway, 
We've all had useless classes. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was such a waste of my time. And I, the class was from four to five thirty, and so I had it um, second semester, and so it was it was dark most of the time when I would leave her class, and I hated that because I had to I was living on campus, but I had to walk like from the complete other side of campus back to my dorm in the dark because of her, from class. Anyway, um, that was bad class, but I was probably one of the only people that like actually did the readings as well. Like I have this memory of um the girl next to me because <laughs> the teacher like passed out the tests you know um and she like passed out both of ours the graded tests and i had gotten over 100 on it because i did the readings and then she had like a couple extra credit questions and i like it, her class was super easy like i'm trying to say this class like if you actually did it it was really easy the girl next to me did not do the readings and she got like a 40 percent and she was like Fume when she saw my grade, she was so mad. The girl next to me, like, she, like, made some weird comments and, like, oh, I felt really guilty. It was really bad. <laughs> um, but it just had to do the readings. I don't know. Anyway, she was real mad. <laughs> well, yeah, I felt guilty because of the glare she was giving me. Anyway, why would the sim die? Anyway, I did it right. I read the readings, but... It is a personal problem. It, it, there is a really easy solution here, and it's to do the homework. <laughs> but, you know. I think that might have been... I'm trying to remember when that was in the semester. Um, oh, finally. Problem solved. Goodbye, crystal clear. You didn't have to cheat on my brother, but you did, and now you're dead. Cheaters never prosper. <laughs> also, we're on Gen 8, but basically Gen 9. If you count, the babies are the Gen 9 sims, and, and the baby's mom is Gen 8. Does that make sense? Um, but the babies are Gen 9. So... <laughs> No, Valdez, I graduated in April of 2020, so I, um, I had a, a small amount of COVID school time. Um, but I, I was graduating into the pandemic. I didn't have, like, a full year of pandemic school. I, I had, like, a month of it. <laughs> um, so back when we thought it was only gonna last for a few weeks. Yeah, that's when I was in school. <laughs> I graduated, like, May 1st, 2020, so... Um, straight into the pandemic. Didn't get a graduation, you know, one of them. Um, however, I think a lot of you guys may have had it worse. Because <laughs> you're gonna have all of your school in the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, we did, yeah. So that's an interesting point. Uh-oh, Eugene's here. We did catch Crystal cheating on Eugene while on a quest to cheat on our own fiance. Yes, that is correct. Um, now, the difference is, I'm not my brother. I only care when people I care about are wronged. I don't care about when I'm the one doing the wronging. Um, I think that's a very reasonable outlook to have on life, personally. So... Grim's gonna take the babies. I don't like this. Yo, get death away from your kids! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Grim Reaper touching the babies. I, I'm not liking that. It's a bad omen. <laughs> Kaylee, Trudy, off and Bio and Speck and Brooke and Luma and Panda. Thank you all for the subs. Oh my god. Oh, the baby girl's name is Jam, and PB, Peanut Butter and Jelly are their names. The one's called Jam because I, I wonder if they still have the sentiment. I don't, oops, wrong button. Oh my god, he's back on the table! This is the second time! What are you doing? And there's a vampire ghost in my house. Why? 
I don't, yeah, he might have never left, to be honest. I think I have to, like, move the table. <laughs> well, that's not right. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay. I did reset him. I reset him first. It didn't work. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> He does, he really wants to be tall. He just wants to be tall. I understand. <laughs> oh my god, this game is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Change the baby's dirty diaper. It's now 3 a.m. This one has a dirty diaper too. Everybody's pooping. I was gone for like two minutes and now somebody died. No, 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 no. Nobody died? Now why would I do that? I certainly did not kill a sim. Don't worry. Nothing to be to be concerned about. Um, nothing's going on. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to see here. So, don't worry. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, wait, why are you still awake? Did you never go to sleep? Oh, big mistake. The babies are going to age up um, today. <laughs> today they will. Oh no, he's gonna be an elder two days after she becomes an adult. Wait. My ghost husband still has a birthday? Oh, it's probably glitch. It probably just keeps, I bet the birthday just keeps changing to 12 days out every day. Cause he, He's like permanently that age. He doesn't, he doesn't age. He won't have a birthday. Interesting. Well, today is also the festival of youth and the starlight accolades. So, <laughs> thank you for the eight months. Okay, focus. Maybe you, are you good? No. Are you? No. Well, can you take care of the baby? Why didn't you pee yet? Can he not get in there? No, he can, okay. I was gonna say, someone needs to take care of the babies. Come on, come on. You have an important story? Uh-oh, what happened? Jam is very hungry. Without a feeding, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. No, go back to sleep. I thought you were gonna take care of the babies. Have you not done it yet? Make yourself useful. RJ, thank you for the 12 months. <sighs> Why won't he take care of the babies? He's haunting my cat's grave. That's a dog, not a cat. Okay, bottle feed the baby. You see how easy this is? Wait, you match with a guy on Bumble and his bio said Jewish John Mulaney. So I messaged your friend Liz and they were like, I follow that guy on TikTok and also Marissa follows him on TikTok. So we're waiting for him to message back. <gasps> Wait, really? Okay, I don't mean to be this guy. How TikTok famous are we talking? He's like super famous, really? Like 200K on TikTok, that's big! <laughs> that's interesting. Well, does he live near you then? That's kind of cool. Um, but hey. Let us know if you get a reply. Is this wrong? 
Hang on. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. This poor guy. <laughs> we shouldn't talk about his Tinder. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't discuss this. Um, anyway, he seems really nice. I've heard good things about people in chat seem like they think he's really funny and like him, so. Oh, it's Bumble. Sorry. Anyway, if I was- I'm not on Tinder. But I'm just thinking if I was on Tinder, and then somebody, like, matched with me on Tinder, and then, like, <laughs> talked about it, I would be so horrified. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Not on Tinder, though. You know. <sighs> anyway. Really, M. Cook? That's a weird small world. They said that they follow a, a decently viral person on TikTok and they found out recently that they're in their tiny small town. Yeah, that's really weird to, like, learn that they live where you live. This is, like, um, not the same thing. But, you know Neville Longbottom? The guy who plays him? His girlfriend went to UCF, like, years ago. And so, he used to be here, like, all the time. Like, he would be, like, at the Publix that I would go to. <laughs> like, isn't that bizarre? Um, but, like, what's he doing in Central Florida, you know? But, dating a girl at UCF. <laughs> um, but isn't that weird? I never saw him. I knew people that saw him, though. Like, people would come back from high school and be like, Oh my god, I saw him at Publix, the grocery store. Um, you go to the same Target as John Green. Well, hey. No, not iCarly Neville. Neville from, um, from Harry Potter. Sorry to bring it up. Cursed. <laughs> so random. He turned out to be so handsome. I know. You saw Kevin Jonas at Disney World? Hey. That's like what's Duck Dan doing in Central Florida? Yeah, a little bit. No, not iCarly Neville. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. I got no idea what he's up to right now. Okay. You don't have work today, because you have the weekends off. So, maybe today, I'll go start preparing to cheat on my spouse. Never saw Neville? Yeah. <laughs> I never saw him either. But, my friends did. Um, okay. I think I'll just go to the park and I'll try and find people to cheat with. We voted no cheating. Oh no, they voted again and they voted overwhelming yes to cheating. I Neville saw him. Oh, that's a good one, Miv. Get it? Because never, Neville. <laughs> You're so funny, Miv. You're hilarious. Hey, Snap. Wait, come here. Oh, Snappy, I'm doing something really bad. I'm going to cheat on my spouse. Come here. You can help us. Come on. Jump up. Come on. She almost jumped and then she got scared. Come here. Jump. Come on. Yep, I'm right here. Come on. There you go. <laughs> All right, Snappy. Now it's time to go do some evil things. Do you want to help? Here, do you want to pick somebody that we can cheat with? Just pick anybody. Anybody you see that you like. Do you see anyone? Do you see anyone? Oh, I know, Harvey needs to watch, but I need to get a list of people prepared, you know? Fiery Casey Cam, RJ, thank you all for the subs. Um, okay. There's no one here. Maybe I'll feed the cow plant and milk it while I wait for people to show up. Oops, don't, don't get your claws stuck in my sweater. One essence of stress. Okay, oh, and she's on the floor. <laughs> and she's on the floor. Okay. You saw Sebastian Stan in a coffee shop in New York City? I've never seen a celebrity in real life. The, well, no, I saw, um, I saw Christine, like, Simply Neological Christine, and uh, Sophia Nygaard at a cheesecake factory after VidCon a few years ago. Um, but that was, like, it wasn't at VidCon, but it was, like, 
during VidCon at night. So, like, the chances of, of a spotting is not really that slim. Like, they're around. <laughs> you know? Um, so I feel like it's not the same. <laughs> but we were there. Me, Steph, you know. Whole gang. There was, like, ten of us or something. It was ridiculous. We weren't with them, though. We were just also there. <laughs> anyway, it's not like that odd to run into them, I feel like, because- Oh, it's my sister! Because it was VidCon, so. Um. Gossip. Actually, it wasn't the whole Sims YouTube gang. Not a lot of Simmers went to VidCon that year. It was us and a bunch of Minecrafters. Like, I was with, like, Scott and, and Lizzie and them. <laughs> it was more the Minecrafters we were with, not the Simmers. <laughs> there weren't a lot of Simmers at VidCon that year. <laughs> um, but the Minecrafters, out in full force. Yeah. So. <laughs> you met the Property Brothers? So, one of my mods, if you ever see- Oh, bye, Snap. If you ever see Lady Colossus, Shan, in the chat, um, Shan works at an airport. And Shan has seen the Property Brothers more than once at the airport. Isn't that weird? Um. Like, <laughs> what small world? Um. Okay. Claim to be criminal mastermind? I don't know. Apologize to your sister for being unpleasant. Mm. But anyway, I've never seen a celebrity in person. I'm also really bad with celebrities' faces. Like, I think that I would have a really hard time recognizing us. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like I would see a person and be like, I know you, but maybe from school? Like, I don't know if I'd be able to place them. There's a lot of people I would be able to place, but there's also a lot of people, like a lot of actors, that the average person would probably know, and I would be like, they seem familiar. Can I embarrass you for one second? Oh no, I know- oh, I know what you're gonna say! <laughs> I said to Hope- stop! I said to Hope a couple weeks ago that in my head Jake Gyllenhaal and Steve Carell are the same. But that's because- They're both- I, they're both kind of goofy looking, you know? I don't know. They're uh, <laughs> in my head. Jake Gyllenhaal and Steve Carell are the same. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm really bad with celebrity. <laughs> I, I hang on. Jake Gyllenhaal. I can't- I can't defend myself. I can't defend myself with this one. Jake Gyllenhaal, okay? Steve, I can't, this is not... Steve Carell. I can't keep defending myself. He looks like that guy from The Office. Yeah, you know what? This guy looks a lot like the guy from The Office. Yeah. Really similar to Michael Scott, this guy is right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could almost be related. <laughs> it's because he plays Michael Scott. I didn't see who said that. I saw somebody said that in chat. Anyway, I don't- uh, look. Look. I've only very recently become more familiar with Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay? And it was- it was until recently that I learned the difference. No, JJ, I did not know that. Interesting. 
One has a 10 minute song written about them, the other one is a comedian, Kayla. I know, I know, I know. Look, all of these, listen, all of these white men actors are the same. How are you supposed to tell them apart? There's like seven of them called Chris. Like, I don't know. I'm not, how are you supposed to know? I really am not good at it. It's actually embarrassing, but like, how are you supposed to tell them apart? <laughs> I don't know. What? Game, come back. There we go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not good at celebrities, though. I really am not good at celebrities. I also haven't seen that many movies. Like, a lot of, like, popular... I have not seen a lot of movies in general. So, like, you know, if you were like, Oh, that's... Chris so-and-so from such-and-such -such movie. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at it. It's not a CC skirt. This is actually from uh, Romantic Garden stuff. Her skirt. Um... Oh my god, one time Dylan Sprouse came into where you worked and you asked him, has anyone ever told you that you look like Luke Skywalker? Because he, he looked familiar to you but you couldn't place him. And then all your friends laughed at you, or all of his friends laughed at you, and you didn't realize until he gave you his car to check out. You asked Dylan Sprouse if anyone ever said he looked like Luke Skywalker? No, I can picture this happening so clearly. I could, I, you just know his friends thought it was hilarious because he probably gets recognized all the time. And like, a, probably a lot of that too. Really, people knew what he looked like as a kid, but not anymore because he was on like, Zack and Cody. So that probably happens to him all the time. And his friends probably like joke about it all the time. And then, <laughs> I love that. That's good. He deserves some humbling, it's fine. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Sammy, Lou, designer mate, thank you for the subs and bits too. Oh my god, do you know what else? He probably gets called Cole a lot as well. Because they're twins, Dylan and Cole Sprouse. I bet that he gets called the other one. You know that they're friends, they make fun of them for that all the time. I can just feel it. <laughs> I've been recognized a couple times without actually being recognized. Like this one time at, um, I was at Bath and Body Works. And the, this girl who was working there came over and she was like, hey, can I help you find anything? And I was like, oh no, I'm okay. I'm just like smelling the candles, you know? And she was like, oh, that's great. And then she leaves. And then later on, I go back to check out and she was the one working the checkout. Um, and then she was like, you know, do I know you from somewhere? Because your voice is really familiar. She said voice. And then she was like, what high school did you go to? You know, cause she was trying to place me in like real life. But when she said my voice was familiar, I was like, I know why my voice is familiar, <laughs> but I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber, you know? So I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe. And I told this told the high school I went to and stuff. And she was like, oh no, I didn't go there. But it was like a thing. And then I left. But in my head, I know where you know my voice from. And it's not high school. <laughs> you, it's, it's the internet. Uh, but it made me laugh. I thought it was fun. <laughs> She might be here. Hello. <laughs> it may have been high school, but I didn't go to a very big high school, Cinnamon, so I, I think I would have known if we went to the same high school. Um, I, <laughs> I do get recognized a fair amount in public, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to assume, but it's a reasonable assumption. <laughs> Okay, I need to flirt with some people. I can't find anyone. It has to be a, not a teen. This person is not a teen. Friendly introduction? Perhaps? Do I also need humble? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Um, I don't get recognized that much. To be fair, I, I didn't leave the house much for like two years and then all of a sudden, I started getting recognized a lot more. Like, I I feel very unprepared for this. I, like, I, 
this is gonna make me sound like such a brat, but it's been happening like almost every time. Like I go to the grocery store, somebody there, Target, three times at Target in the past couple of months. That never used to happen to me. <laughs> it's happened so many times recently. <laughs> it's not like a bad thing. It just kind of like throws me off. Cause I don't really, oh, this person's an alien. Uh oh. Cause I'm not like used to it, you know? Um, it's kind of fun though. It's fun to like meet people and talk to them and stuff like that. But anyway, it started happening a lot more than it used to. <laughs> how do I know? What, how do I know what? That I'm being recognized? Cause they say, hey, are you Lil Simsy? <laughs> um, it's pretty clear. <laughs> Cause they, you know, tell me. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything, but I guess it makes sense. And also, you think about the fact that my channel like literally more than tripled since the pandemic started, like... It makes sense that it would happen more often now than it used to, you know? Because I had like 500k or something. <laughs> and now... <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's kind of cool. But anyway, if you see me in public, oh, they said, how do I know she's an alien? Oh, because she's glowing. Aliens glow their emotions. So she's glowing because she's um, an alien. Sorry. Oh my God. I'm such a brat. I assumed you meant, how do I know I'm being recognized? It's got into my head. It's got into my head. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do need to be knocked down a peg. Oh no. Oh no, my ego. <laughs> About that humbling. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Lady Potato, I'm bored. Thank you both for the subs and bits. Oh, I've changed. It's sad to see what fame does to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let me just get some water. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, why are you so sad? Oh, you're feeling flirty. My my fiance's still at work. I can't cheat in front of him because he's still at work. Next thing we know, you're gonna move to LA. Oh God, I'm not kidding. There is nothing I want to do less than move to Los Angeles. I, I mean this with the the absolute most love in my heart. There is nothing I want to do less than move to LA. I honestly, there that is probably I, out of all the places in the U.S. that I visited, bottom of the list of where I want to move to. <laughs> I find LA to be stressful. Um, but I also, I don't really see a point moving to LA. Like, I'm not, I'm not like a YouTuber who's trying to be an actor or something, you know, like, I think a lot of YouTubers back in the day that were collabing together a lot in person, it was like, it made sense for them, but I don't do that. I play The Sims. <laughs> I don't need to do that. <laughs> um, well, and also the whole West Coast, I like, this is the thing, right? Dan moved to the US from the UK. It is already a five hour time difference from him to his family. Like if we moved to LA, it would be eight. That's rough. And even like the three from from LA to my family is bad, you know? But the like for eight for him to his family, like that's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a West Coast gal, <laughs> I don't think. Um, okay, Cleo, Natalie, Jen, Nikki, thank you all for the subs. Um, yeah, eight, eight is a big time difference. That is tough. Um, anyway, I'm not a California girl. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't want to move far away. Can you still drown in the pond without adding sharks or scary fish? You know, probably, because the sharks and fish have nothing to do with it. I think you still can. Um, no, California to to the UK is eight hours. It's a five hour time difference from here on the East Coast to the UK. Um, 
so it's five hours from like the this side of the U.S. across the ocean to the U.K. Um, but then it's another three across the rest of the U.S. So it's an eight-hour time difference between the U.S. and the or between California and the U.K. Sorry, the West Coast is far away. We'd love to have you join hot singles in your area. I am looking to cheat on my fiance. So yeah. There's only one hot single left. This is not good. Anyone else I can add? <laughs> uh, maybe Terry? Whoa, mustache. I don't know, just pick a couple random ones. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll meet Alex. Um, oh yeah, Emily, no. LA and Florida are really far apart. We're on opposite ends of the country. <laughs> Florida's like the bottom right and LA is the far left. Well, California is the far left. Um, but <laughs> far away, um, far, far away. Okay. So here's one thing that I wanted to do. And I meant to do it while Rose was still here. Um, I'll just invite her back. So we tried to, um, do the story progression thing and it does work, but my sim that I tried to do it with, um, they, so I called him up and I was like, hey, change your job to my brother. And he was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll think about it. And then like four days later, he calls me back and he's like, nah, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. That sounds good. Uh, focus the camera on my sister. I was thinking about, because my sister is, maybe I'll ask her to pursue her dream job again. Not much progression has progressed on this stream. Yeah, that's um, a good way of putting it. All right, well, she, I asked her. She'll call me back in like four hours. Wait, is this him immortal? Wait, is Alex Moyer actually immortal? Because she's part of the tutorial? Wait, really? I didn't know that. Never noticed her. Never noticed her in my life. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? Speaking of, I miss nothing. I meant to give, um, we were gonna give Poppy a couple tattoos or a tattoo or you know we we were thinking as soon as she aged up into a young adult we would do that but um i never did so let's do it now um mc command center as far as i'm aware is not broken i haven't had any issue with it um i i didn't delete my mod. i i just put them back on and they were all fine um so is that my dad hello Hello, how are you? What tattoo? I love the Discover University tattoos. They're really good. Like I really, or we could do this one. <laughs> um, I don't know. He he, it's Shanna. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Hi, Shanna. Not hi, Dad. Maybe I'll do some flower tattoos. That could be fun. I like the concept. Anyway, hi, Shanna. How are you? Michelle, Axe, Jen, Burnett, Keisha, Penguin, Oda, and Cake, and Leo, and Natalie, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, I want to give her some more jewelry, too. Maybe a necklace? How's that one look? 
Oh, that one's kind of cool. Oh, maybe that's fun. Okay. My dad used to be friends with your dad. Hey, really? <laughs> What's your dad's name? <laughs> Let me know. I'll ask him. Used to be. When? Like in school? That's kind of cool. That's a weird coincidence. Anyway, crankiest Ashley, thank you for the subs. And Capricorn, thank you for the bits too. Shanna, why are you putting a lizard emoji in my chat? Is it because you have a lizard? Lizard is Shanna's sup. Okay, but it's not easy to type that on... Oh, Shanna. <laughs> He's yelling at me to not say it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> oh, um, anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop with the cast. I don't want to bother with it anymore. Nova was, Nova is with you? Nova is my sister's bearded dragon. Um, so I suppose that makes sense why she put a lizard in the chat. <laughs> um, but... Anyway. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, Beth, thank you for the 15 months, too. Okay. Yeah, I like Nova's name. I think it's a fun one. Good choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't- I shouldn't support her. Terrible choice, Shanna. I hate the name that you gave your lizard. It's bad. You just, sometimes you just gotta, you know, knock your siblings down a little bit. So. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Nova. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Oh, I'd have to find the video again. But I was looking through my- so I can't show you because I just scroll too far back, but I was looking through my my photos and videos on my phone the other day, or this morning, and I found this video that was taken by the, the camera, like the, the ring camera in my parents' garage. Shanna was sitting in the garage with, um, with Lemon, and, like, she- I think she was, like, putting the leash on him or something. I don't know why. Trying to, I should say. And then he, like, jumped away, <laughs> and then he, like- I think he got scared because he realized the leash was like attached to him on the harness and like the string scared him So he like because so keep in mind she was sitting in a chair next to the car right and the camera's like in the way back corner And so he jumps away and he's like down you can't see him because the car is blocking it and then all of a sudden he just flings straight in the air because he was, I think the leash scared him like the string and so he just jumped straight up Oh, you stepped on the air track and it scared him, and that's why he flung straight up because of the noise? Well, either way, you just see, like, he's down, you can't see him, and then all of a sudden he's above the car. <laughs> that makes sense. It was loud and it scared him. That makes sense. Um, but, <laughs> no, people don't walk cats, really. Um, but, you know... Anyway, the kid just flung straight in the air. <laughs> oh, he's not a dog. No, 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 sorry. To be- sorry for the confusion. It's a cat. Oh, he was fine. He was fine. He just jumped up because he got scared of the noise. I mean, like, it happens. I jump at noises all the time. But it's a cat, not a dog. <laughs> the dog didn't fling straight in the air. <laughs> it was the cat that did that. No, was your cat's name? Nice! <laughs> Yeah, but I think a lot of people are trying to train their cats to walk on a leash. Like, you said, so you could walk them with your dogs. But, um... <laughs> I've tried to put a leash on Snap before, um, because she's too scared to go outside. She gets very- I also don't want her to go outside on her own, because it's dangerous, but... Um, she's too scared to go outside. Like, I've, at times, like, allowed her, like, when we were putting on the Christmas lights, um, we let her, like, come with us, because we were watching her, and, like, you know, we had the door open for her to go back in, because she doesn't really want to be outside. Um, but anytime she hears any noise, any noise, like, someone closes their door, their car door, like, 
down the road, she freaks out and runs back in. You know, she's not very, um, she doesn't like it out there. <laughs> so we're trying to like give her the, the option, you know? <laughs> so I have put her on a, a harness and a leash before, but she doesn't like to go out much, so. It's one of those just like let her safely look. <laughs> um, anyway, indoor cats are safer. And also cats are, um, this is kind of a hot topic, but um, cats are an invasive species. Cats uh, kill a lot of local wildlife, things like birds and lizards and stuff. Um, they're not good for it. <laughs> um, it's not really good for them to be out there. I know some places, like it's like like standard in the UK to have outdoor cats, but it's not so much here. Um, but I don't know. Depends where you live, what the recommendations are. But I legitimately, another fear that I have is that my cat would get eaten by an alligator and that's not even like, a fake concern. Like, there's a pond. I'm like, genuinely, like, that is a thing that I, <laughs> um, I don't know. But Snap spends a lot of time on the patio and stuff like that. She's got a cat tree on the patio. Um, anyway, um, but genuinely, like, I, <laughs> um, that is like a valid fear, I feel like. Um, but anyway, yeah, I bet Molly, that's scary. That's really, really scary. Um, yeah, not to the pond, oh no. Um, but anyway, sun doesn't go outside, so. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing is, is the cats getting hit by a car is really scary. Um, and that's the gen, like that's the thing that happens all the time. Like, um, anyway. Very common, very scary. I would like my pets to be safe, <laughs> so. Um, okay, I think I might, I might go home. No, wait, oh, I want him to catch me flirting with someone else. Come here. I'm gonna flirt with Alex right in front of him. As soon as he gets over here. Oh, there he is. He has to catch me cheating 10 times. I've not really done it because I don't want to cheat on him, but I'm going to do it. Don't yell. Okay, that's one. Jealous. Jealous fury? Oh my. <gasps> oh my god! Now, that is not acceptable. That is not acceptable behavior. He walked up to me and slapped me. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I... I don't think so. I know I got caught cheating and I know that that's the reaction they give, but all I did was have a little flirty comment that does not no in no way does anything like that condone slapping someone <laughs> we do not resort to physical violence no 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 Okay, now kill him. Well, I don't want to kill him. I want my kids to be able to visit him. <laughs> Somebody else must have gotten eaten by the cow plant. How about just like a, like a little snack? How about just like a, a little, little bit of snack time for the cow plant. Oh, that one's not hungry. Oh, play with the cow plant, good idea. Oh, Ellie, thank you for the tier two 26 months, by the way. Thank you for letting me sell you my turnips to your island, by the way, thank you again. Um, much appreciated. Oh, Peaches is dead. 
I, I did need the turnip money. They can visit his grave. Oh no. Hang on. I need a hungry cow plant. <laughs> a poll for which death? Am I gonna? I guess I am. Eliza, bro. Twyla, Ender, Sid, thank you all for the subs. Listen, I think it's really important to remember that we do not resort to physical violence. And so, look, maybe I'll put him on the list. Maybe we won't kill him straight away. Maybe we'll just give him a little taste of what he needs to worry about. You know? Come here. Come here. What did he do? Well, I flirted with someone else, and then he slapped me! So, it had to be done. Anyway, someone in chat asked, uh, what days do I stream, and can they watch the streams back later if they miss them? Yes! <laughs> um, I stream every day except for Sundays, around this time. Um, and if you miss the stream, you can watch it back on Twitch always. Like, the VODs are just there. Um, you can watch today's back right now if you wanted to from the beginning. Um, but I also post them on my second channel, More Simsy, on YouTube, like, a couple days later. Um, I have, like, a backlog, though, I have to post, so I'm a little bit behind, but... Um, so I'll post, like, this one on YouTube on, like, Friday or something, probably. But you can watch it back today if you want. On Twitch. So. Anyway. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god. You think he's okay? What do you think happened in his game to make that to make that scream come out of him? That was a that was a big scream. I I feel like he may have just died in his game. Should we look? He's not even dead. Oh, look at this extension! That's cool! You can see the perks. I mean, I can't see him right now because he's not in it, but... Why did he do that? Why did he... Why did he do that? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. I'm gonna go home, I think. Should I go ask him? No, you guys will. You'll ask him in his chat. He'll tell me. Vaseline, thank you for the two months. Oops. Okay. Bring Poppy home. Oh, now they're broken up. I have to kick him out now. Didn't they only move in together like yesterday? To be fair, okay. So. They haven't really been together for very long. Like, they got pregnant with twins by accident the first day that they, like, hung out. They met, and then, like, two days later, she got pregnant. And then three days later, she gave birth. And then he moved in. So, it's not like this is a long-term relationship that... You know... I think I may age up the babies right now, though, because I'm pretty sure it's their birthday. Yeah, see? Um, I might come make a cake and age them up now. Do something interesting. Apparently he was singing, not screaming. Really? That was supposed to be singing? Huh. Oh wait, they're babies. I don't need a cake. I can just age them up. What am I doing? It's reflex. Okay, I'm gonna let me take care of them before I age them up. Anyway, that was singing. News to me. Yeah, you don't need a cake to age up a baby. <laughs> you just need to age them up. There is a lot of water on the floor. That's because my husband is dead. 
Well, it's her dad. The baby's grandpa is dead. He drowned, so he... Drips. <laughs> Everywhere. Um... Anyway... <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. It adds up. Okay, change dirty diaper, and then I'm gonna age them up. Wait. Yeah, age up. Age up. Come on. This day really has been something else, you know what I mean? Here's one. Ooh. Here's two. Should I look in Cass? No pressure. Yeah, sorry about the puzzle puddles. My dead husband drips. <laughs> He's got a bowl cut. That's kind of cute. Okay. Here is PB. Like peanut butter. Oh, he's cute! And here is his sister, Jam. Oh my goodness, she looks just like her dad. She's pretty. I mean, they're both cute, but... Skip ahead so we can see Miss Teens. Should we look at the Miss Teens or should we wait and be surprised? Can we get a poll? I'll do it. We can do a poll. For whether or not you want spoilers. Um, I want her to have, like, a green... I want it to match her hair. Anyway. Uh, or, I mean, her eyes. <laughs> People are so, um... Okay, there's a poll. There's a poll. So you can vote in the poll for what you want us to do. Spoilers or no spoilers. Oh, I like these little hairs. These are cute. Oh, so far it's 72% yes look. Okay. Well, if you don't want to see, you can look away. And then I won't, I will simply not comment. I will not say a single word about how they look. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. So close your eyes and then I can tell you when, when it's safe to open your eyes. If you don't want to see what she's gonna look like as a teen. See, there you go. Yeah? Alright, close them. I'm looking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry. It was just the hairstyle that I'm laughing at. It was just the hairstyle. It was just the hairstyle. Oh my god! <laughs> It's not the, it's not them. They themselves look fine. It, it was the choices, the hair choices. <laughs> oh my god, he looked like Mortimer Goth. Oh, oh no, oh no. The mustache and the hair. Anyway, you can open your eyes again. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, these babies are Gen 9. It was so hard not to look. I'm sorry! <laughs> anyway, these babies are Gen 9. Um, they do have- they do have chins. No spoilers, though. But the babies are Gen 9. Um, the Decades Challenge could be fun. I've never done it before, um, Megan. I'm gonna play Not So Berry next, though. Um, and Moonfell, thank you for the nine months as well. Um, anyway. Mortimer? Are we sure this is not Mortimer's child? I mean... <sighs> anyway. Good job not commenting, Simsy. Well, it was only- the- the- the other one, um, his sister had the mohawk with the green. So that's why I was giggling. I was trying really hard to not comment, and I- it just really shocked me when I loaded in and she had this pointy green hair. I was like, oh! <sighs> I wasn't expecting it. And then I click on her brother and he's got a mustache that looks like Mortimer Goth. It was- it was shocking. And I did promise a 100 baby challenge after Not So Berry. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. 
me let me let me dress up the sims quickly um i think i might um i might give her freckles i always forget that because your sims never like get freckles on their own they just you have to like add them even if like their parents had freckles they will never get them on their own so i sometimes forget that they exist so um is this stream over no um this well it will be in four minutes <laughs> anyway we, their names are because um we were gonna name the baby jam because their parents before they broke up um their parents uh had sentiments i think that one of them had given the other jam as a gift so they had sentiments um like like i love the jam it's really weird and so we were like oh jam's a cute name because their last name is pots so like jam pots i don't know um anyway <laughs> and then um we called them pb and, and j pb and peanut butter and jam pb like pj and jam i don't know because it's cute so that's their names i kind of liked it <laughs> um but anyway Uh, I don't know if we're gonna use Generation 10 for Not So Berry. We might. We'll see. Oh my god, that's kind of scary, because that would be one of these two's kids. We could always change his name to Mortimer as well. I mean, that's also an option. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I got that jam sentiment after Santa Claus gave me a book for Winterfest. Oh. Well... Who knows how it works then? I don't know. We just based it off the sentiment though because I hadn't seen it before Should I change it to Mortimer? Oh, man, should I? Can we get a poll? Should I change the baby's name to Mortimer? <laughs> oh, it looks like a pretty resounding yes. Oh, oh, well We should still do a poll just to just to confirm But, I mean, can always refer to him as both names, you know? He looks just like Mortimer Goth. There's a poll in the chat. You have to vote. <laughs> okay, um, in swimwear. Is it gonna be 50-50? Uh-oh. Oh, it's close. 42 to 58. Right now, most people want to keep it PB. So we'll see. Let the people speak, and then we'll make our final decision. It is cute. Their names combined are cute, so. I had a kid full-on wipe a booger on another kid tonight at work. Oh my god. That is disgusting. I... <sighs> I'm sorry. Also, Charles, Amelia, and, and, and Brian Moonfeld, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, change his name to 40? Oh, that's another one. Well, 57% say, say no, his name should not change. So there you go. The people, they have spoken. And I stand by your decision. I support you. This is my hot weather outfit. Oh. We already had a sim called Honey Pots. She's dead though. Like super dead. She's been dead for ages. But we did have a sim called Honey Pots um, a long time ago. <laughs> um, that's that's the beauty of, of this series. Um, we've been playing it for so long that like every base has been covered, you know? Um, yeah, she's dead. Super dead. Okay, I might let him keep his, uh, bowl cut, because he's kind of cute. <laughs> Could Stanley get rich by talking to Sims about fishing, and only those fish add to a pond where his only money can come from? 
If it's only goldfish, it's only goldfish. Hope this makes sense. I mean, maybe. <laughs> That's an interesting concept. Just, just a load of fishing for the same thing over and over again. Oh, this is, he can keep the shoes. This is cute. You can have a suit as well. That's, that'll be nice. Peter Potts, you know, like Peter Pan, but Potts. <gasps> Wait, that is amazing. I'm writing it down. That's the, that's the baby. That's Gen 10. Peter Potts. Yeah. That is a good one. It's written down. I, uh, absolutely. <laughs> when one of these people has a baby, when one of these two has a baby. Uh, we didn't already have a Peter. We had a Piper. And we had a Penny. Peter Potts was triplets with Pietro Potts. We already had a Peter? Hmm. We talked about Brock Potts as well. We were supposed to name one of these guys Brock. Well, we can have Peter again. It's been so long. There's also always flower pots as well. That's an option. So. We had Chip. I know we had Chip. This is the thing. We, we've had so many Sims. Keep in mind, this toddler is Gen 9 that you're looking at. Oh, we had Jack Potts. We had Jack and Jackie. They were twins. We did both. So. Um, we've, we've really, we've done it all, is what I'm trying to say. We did clay, yeah. Hot pots, non-stick pots, you can't. We talked about neti pots and chamber pots. Those were both things that we did legitimately consider for a while as well um but we decided against it i mean listen i i can't even be oh that's adorable you look great i can't even begin to express to you like how many different ideas we've been over in the course of this legacy you know like we've been playing it for so long <laughs> and we've had so many different ideas <laughs> i think he looks good like that all right done Harry? I mean, it's just... Brock like Croc. Crockpot, but Brock. Because it's, it's a name, and Croc isn't. <laughs> anyway, there's... Coffee is an interesting one, I don't know. I mean, I guess, keep in mind, like, if we keep playing with this family for the Not So Berry Challenge, I might put them in a new save. Or maybe not, I don't know. But if we keep playing in this family, then, like, we could just keep going. You know? Um. So that's always an option. <laughs> porta pots Oh, like, porta potty That's a bad, that's a bad one. Picture this. The yellow gen of Not So Berry. Is porta pots You're done. <laughs> You're done. I wrote it down. Um, we're gonna need to make a list. We have to plan these guys out way far in advance. I mean, we could do Porsche as well. I mean, it's, it's basically the same. I'll write that too. Anyway, we got options. Cast iron pots. <laughs> oh, Beatrixer, Gail. And love for all people's clay omelet. Everybody, thank you for the subs and bits. This has been fun. I think today's been a really fun stream. I really enjoyed this. Um, so as far as the rest of the week goes, we've got a few exciting things planned. Number one, tomorrow, um, we're playing Animal Crossing. I stream in the mornings on Wednesdays, so I'll be live at like 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, and then on Thursday, Pots Family again. Friday, 
I think we're gonna build in the beginning, but Friday is is the Claws My Cause stream. As in, Tiltify has asked me to be Santa, and Tiltify has asked me to, like, help them go to charity streams people are doing and, and donate and be Santa. Um, so we're gonna do that on stream on Friday. I'm really excited. So this is another reminder, if any of you are streamers and maybe you are planning on doing a charity stream this month, um, if you wanna do it on Friday, let me know and maybe I'll pop in. <laughs> um, that would be really fun. Uh, and then on Saturday, we're playing Among Us with a bunch of our friends again. So that same group as last time, we're gonna play Among Us. I think a couple people can't make it this time though. Um, but I, and some people are gonna be there for like half and you know, but pretty much the same group as last time. Um, and for those of you that want more information on the Claws My Cause thing, let me spam this link in the chat. I also put it in the Discord and stuff. Um, to really have a Simsy Santa emote? Oh. Oh, too bad we don't have a Simsy Santa emote. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I haven't put it up yet. I was gonna wait until December 1st, but um, you will be pleased to know that we do have a Santa emote. Um, and I'll put it back again this year. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm gonna put- I was gonna go pull it up, but I'll just put it up tomorrow. I'll probably put it up tonight, actually, after I get off stream. Um, but it's December 1st in some places, that's true. It's only November 30th for me, though. But and we had it last year, so you might recognize it, but, um, I'll put it up. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, but anyway, this has been a fun stream. I hope that you enjoyed it. Obviously, um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some fun Animal Crossing stuff and then more Sims the rest of the week, but, um, seven minutes into December here. There you go. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm the first one, um, out of, this is the Claws My Cause thing that I just put in the chat. Um, I'm the first one, but, like, this is, this is, um, not a small list, okay? Like, Matt, Pat, and Steph, Jack, Septicai, like, <laughs> Little Sia, Dr. Lupo. I mean, I know, like, pretty much all these people. Um, a Jambo and Bloody Faster and Big Cheese Kit are, are great. They're friends of mine. Nega Oryx is a friend of mine. Like, so they have a really fun, um, a really fun list. Why they put me first, I will never know. I am horrified by this. I feel like it's a lot of pressure to be first, but... <laughs> And here we are. It's happening. Um, but throughout the whole month, um, they're gonna be doing it. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think this will be really fun. They did it last year too. Um, and it's just, it's just awesome. So, um, I look forward to it. If you want to see these people though, again, I'll put the link in the chat and then you can, you can go follow them. Um, you might've heard of a lot of them, but, um, go and follow and, and learn more. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. Also, use the hashtag claws my cause if you're gonna stream um, at any point, a charity stream at any point this month. Use that hashtag so that they might find you and pop in. So, <laughs> anyway, um, Hannah, thank you for the tier two 18 months and Cater Tot with the eight months, Hopi with the 28 months. Thanks, everybody. Um, I mean, does Matt Pat get a hollow taco PR? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't today Matt Pat's um, big charity stream for St. Jude? Um, as far as I'm aware, I think he, yeah, um, yeah, this man has raised a million dollars for St. Jude today in the last six hours. So, um, they have like a pretty star studded cast, obviously, like, um, currently Ned from the Try Guys is on, um, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> he did this last year too. It's really impressive. Um, this is just awesome. So shout out to all of those YouTubers for, for doing this. Um, it's really nice. We obviously also do a lot of things for St. June. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Ned, not MatPat. <laughs> no, but it's, it's MatPat's like marathon stream. And then they have like a lot of YouTubers on it. So, you might see a lot of YouTubers you like that are gonna be in the stream. Um, they've got a pretty star-studded group, so. Um, it's cool, it's cool. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of pull. 
I, I do a lot of streams for St. Jude, but I can't really get Sophia Nygaard. <laughs> you know? I can't really get the Try Guys. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I could try. But... Have you asked her? Well, no. Maybe I'll reach out to people this year. Do you know what? Maybe I'll reach out to people and ask if they want to play a game. I wonder if I could get, like, a group of interesting YouTubers together to play, like, Among Us or something. They might want to. I mean, I don't know who we would ask, but, like... And who knows if they'd say yes, but and maybe maybe Among Us is too big of a an ask because there's like too many. But we can maybe see it. Like I could be like, hey, do you want to play Minecraft? <laughs> um, Trixie Mattel might do it. Yeah, Trixie Mattel um, likes me, so <laughs> she she's been nice to me in the past. Um, but maybe yeah. So there's people we could ask. There are some fun people we could ask. So. Um, yeah, and, like, Tyler Oakley might want to do it. Like, he hangs out in the stream sometime. Like, we know we know some people that are kind of cool. We could get Jason Dolly again, maybe, to ask. <laughs> who wouldn't want to? Well, I don't know who... Yeah, not everybody wants to, um, to be on stream, but... This is the thing. It's just a, um, just an idea. And it doesn't have to be for, like, Among Us. And obviously, like, I'm, we're thinking, like, non-simmers, you know? Because, like... We could get my Sims friends to play anytime. That's no problem. It's the non-Simmers. <laughs> it's the non-Simmers that, we, that we're thinking about, you know? Because we could get Simmers to play, like, so easily. That's... Um, Taylor Swift. Yeah, you know, that's... Katy Perry, maybe I'll reach out to her. I'll send an email to Katy and I'll say, Hi, Katy Perry. Do you want to play Fall Guys with me? <laughs> Hello, Miss Ariana Grande. Can I interest you in a game of Minecraft? <laughs> Do you want to play Bed Wars? <laughs> anyway, um... Well, I'll, I, we, it's an idea to think about. We, that's, we're gonna do the big St. Jude event in May again, like we always do, so... Um, that's something to think about. Look, besties, we got big shoes to fill. We raised $300,000 last year. So, Taylor Swift, you're gonna need to come through for us. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. We might need you. <laughs> we might need your help. <laughs> Waluigi, Grammy, Girls Rock, thank you all for the subs again. And Heist and, and JLive and Champ and Cater Tot, thanks. Thank you all so much. Um, but you're right, it doesn't hurt to ask if people would want to join in, you know? So, um, I'll, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Um, anyway, Taylor, ask Rick Astley to play Minecraft. I'm not, no, that's, do you know what? I think that might even be, like, a little bit attainable. But if he says no, I would be devastated. But, like, could you imagine? I, I literally, hang on, look. I literally have a cardboard cutout of this man. Like, oh, Jesus. Play Fall Guys with me. Anyway, trying is free. So it doesn't hurt to ask. So. <laughs> I knocked him over. Hey, Abigail, thanks for the 12 months. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll make a list, and I'll start sending some emails. Hope said, can you pretend to do it for me? Hope, Hope, if you want access to my email address, to, to be like, hello, this is Lil Simsy's manager. She's reaching out because she wants to <laughs> do this charity event. I, you could do it. I mean, my email address is like, they wouldn't know that it's me, you know, because it's, it's like a contact email. It doesn't say like, Kayla at lilsimsy.com, so... <laughs> oh, I could pretend to be my own manager and be like, hello, this is the Lucy's manager. <laughs> um, anyway. I'll think about it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, to be fair, Hope, it would be nice to avoid seeing some of the things I get sent, but it's okay. I don't get that many hate emails. I did get someone telling me to kill myself about a month ago, though. And they did it like 50 times on multiple different emails. That's what Hope's talking about. <laughs> I got some bad emails last month. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> on Halloween, by the way. So they were busy. <laughs> they had some Halloween plans. <laughs> Isn't that gross? How sad do you have to be to do that? Like, listen, I... I've noticed that this is really some personal growth on my part because it didn't bother me and it really would have like a year ago. So this is good. But how sad do you have to be to, to put that much effort into it? Like on a holiday and why me? Like, what did I do? <laughs> I know I'm kind of annoying, but like, I'm not that bad, you know? Anyway, it was kind of funny, so. Um. <laughs> um, it is a bit of, it is a bit funny. We probably banned them on Twitch, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but anyway, personal growth. If that had happened like two years ago, oh, it would have ruined, it would have been a disaster. It would have been really hard for me. But now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Okay, anyway, I think we're gonna go find somebody to raid. Um, I think, I don't know who, but somebody, somebody would be fun. In my opinion. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. I have a 50 month resub to share to Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna raid Chelsea. I have a 50 month resub. So she's playing The Sims 3. Um, you probably know her. She's a really good friend of mine. Um, and again, she's playing The Sims 3. I like- Oh, Dan just raided her. This is the second time this has happened to me. We raided the same person yesterday. Why does Dan keep doing this? Lizard, Katie, Bookworm, Eliza, thank you all for the subs. Anyway, um, leave me alone, Daniel. Go say hi to Chelsea for me. Um, <laughs> Um, and I will, I guess, catch you all over there. Yeah? Alright, see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, goodbye everybody! <laughs>